Chapter 3740, one restorative golden lotus Long Chen used over ten transportation talismans. The last three were random, sending him in a direction that even he didn't know. After those three random transportations, Long Chen completely relaxed. Even if a talisman expert like Xia Chen were to try chasing him down now, there was no way they could find his current location. Furthermore, those people were from the sacred pill hall. Other than refining pills and training flames, they weren't skilled in other regards. They didn't understand talisman arts, so Long Chen wasn't worried. Long Chen checked his surroundings. He had already left the scorched land, and there was greenery and vegetation. However, they were all short trees and shrubs. There were no towering forests. Long Chen then set up several formations, one to conceal him, one as a warning system, and a transportation formation. Only then did he dare to rest here. He was already covered in sweat. That wasn't from being tired. It was from the thought of being blocked by hundreds of supreme heavenly geniuses. Let alone all the rest, just Yin Chang Sheng alone would definitely exhaust him. Faith energy was practically cheating. I have to become an immortal king and condense a heavenly Tao crown, or I really won't be able to keep up with those cheaters, muttered Long Chen, feeling vexed. Faith energy was practically beyond reason. It couldn't be broken. Fortunately, Yin Chang Sheng didn't really know how to use his faith energy. If he had been like Liao Benking and could condense a domain with it, Long Chen would probably be blind in both eyes for a while. Long Chen rubbed his left eye. It was still very painful, and there was no sign of recovery at all. He didn't know when it would recover. After resting for a bit and finding no change in the surroundings, Long Chen relaxed enough to look within him. He saw scars in his flesh. It was like a milky white spider web cutting through his flesh. Long Chen had never seen such an injury. Even when he circulated the primal chaos space's energy to recover, it was very slow. Hey, don't act like this has nothing to do with you. Help me heal. Long Chen looked at the white-robed woman in the primal chaos space. She was holding Huo Linger. White flames revolved around her as she absorbed the energies of the stones, and her eyes didn't even flutter when she heard him. She indifferently said, What harmed your physical body is the power of my will. My will attacks both the flesh and soul. But your will is powerful, and so it wasn't harmed. It's just that your physical body is weaker than your will. My power was unable to damage your will, so all the power ended in your body. And shouldn't you hurry up and take back your energy? demanded Long Chen. Sorry, I can't do that, said the white-robed woman. Why not? demanded Long Chen. If it was before you fought Yin Cheng Shen, it would have been possible. But now those wounds have faith energy in them as well. If I pulled that energy back in, my core would be infected said the white-robed woman. Then why didn't you help me take back this energy beforehand? raged Long Chen. You didn't tell me to, she answered expressionlessly. Yun. Long Chen almost coughed up blood. Fine, count yourself vicious. I'll just count myself unlucky. Long Chen was enraged. Was there really a need for him to say such a thing explicitly? She had entered his primal chaos space and escaped, but she refused to help him now. I really don't understand. The heavenly rainbow fairy is clearly ranked behind you on the heavenly flame ranking, but she's gentle, refined, and virtuous. But as for you, Long Chen couldn't help mumbling to himself. You've seen the heavenly rainbow fairy? Tell me her situation. It was only when Long Chen mentioned the heavenly rainbow fairy that the white-robed woman opened her eyes. Long Chen was originally going to ignore her, but seeing how serious she was, he explained everything about how he had encountered the heavenly rainbow fairy as well as Yu King Chuan's relationship with her. The white-robed woman sank into thought. 
the heavenly rainbow discarnate soul was devoured by Yanzu. The Yanzu said to be the strongest flame was actually also infected by karma. He devoured her discarnate soul, and you killed his son. That retribution was quite fast. The new master of the heavenly rainbow has been born, and you have a close relationship with this new master. The workings of fate continue to twist and turn. The karma will grow increasingly blurred. The heavenly rainbow fairy was on the heavenly flame ranking just like you. You know each other. You don't feel the slightest bit bad about her death. Long Chen couldn't help asking this. He saw that her expression didn't change in the slightest. He didn't see the slightest emotional ripple. Why would I feel bad? asked the white-robed woman. You've... Fine, I forgot that you're not a person. A, but the heavenly rainbow fairy was the same, and she had ample emotions. It's not just the heavenly rainbow fairy. Hugo Linger has emotions, too. Although they don't have bodies of flesh and blood, they are no different from people, said Long Chen. The white-robed woman didn't reply. She seemed to be thinking. Seeing her fall silent, Long Chen also didn't speak again. Although they were both heavenly flames, the ice soul was completely different from the heavenly rainbow flame. He liked the heavenly rainbow fairy's character more. He was willing to risk his life for her. The heavenly rainbow fairy was kind. This kindness made Long Chen willing to throw away his own life to help her. However, this ice soul lived up to her name. She was truly icy and didn't seem to have the slightest emotion. Even if someone else's emotions were like a burning fire, it would be difficult to melt her icy heart. Since the iced soul couldn't help him heal, Long Chen slowly circulated the primal chaos space's energy to heal. We are all flames of heaven and earth. Everything is up to fate. The cycle of life and death is already set, so emotions are meaningless. We are like snowflakes falling to heaven and earth. We live in winter and melt away in spring. When the winter comes once more, who cares whether the new snow is the snow of last year? Said the white-robed woman finally. Long Chen shook his head. Your logic is flawed. A person lives a lifetime, and grass lives for a summer. The summer bug cannot speak of ice, and the frog at the bottom of the well cannot speak of the sea. But whether you are a summer bug or a frog at the bottom of the well, even if you only live in a fixed space, it still has meaning within the grand Tao. A person lives accompanied by sorrow and happiness. A person bitterly cultivates in pursuit of escaping that bitterness and obtaining happiness. But without the darkness, how can there be light? Without bitterness, how can there be happiness? Whether it is the same snow of last year doesn't matter. The person who likes you will still like you, just like how I like the heavenly rainbow fairy. But I was unable to save her. Otherwise, I would have definitely fought Yan Zhu to my death. Seeing the white-robed woman fall silent once more, Long Chen couldn't help saying, Are you too tired? Is your mind affected? Why do you need to take so long just to think? You should rest then. I also need to heal. Long Chen truly felt this ice soul to be strange. Just talking to her was taking a great deal of effort. Then why did you risk your life for me? Just as Long Chen was about to enter meditation to heal, she spoke once more. Wasn't my life only at risk because of you? shouted Long Chen angrily. She once more fell silent. Now, she seemed a bit aggrieved. Long Chen was a bit embarrassed and said, All right, as a man, I won't be so petty. We can discuss things later. Let me heal first. After saying that, Long Chen focused his mind. He was once more on the verge of entering his meditative state when the white-robed woman spoke up. Eh? Long Chen jumped. He was about to explode. Just as he was about to unleash a torrent of curses, the white-robed woman said, That golden lotus in this space of yours can help you heal. Long Chen's curses immediately vanished. 
He was shocked. You, you know how to use it. Chapter 3742, The Wonders of the Golden Lotus. No, I don't know. The white-robed woman's response was direct. Long Chen almost coughed up blood. If you don't know, why did you mention it? I only know that the lotus has the ability to drive off evil energies. I didn't kill you because I saw it. It is yours, so you can try communing with it. Use its energy to erase the faith energy. Of course, if the faith energy affecting you was bright and good, the golden lotus would have no effect on it. If it was sinister and dark, it should be able to expel it, said the white-robed woman. Hearing that, Long Chen's anger slowly faded. He couldn't help asking, this lotus was given to me by a senior, but I've never been able to connect to it. Do you have an idea? Long Chen was about to call her a senior flatteringly, but he didn't see any of the grace of a senior, so he didn't bother. The white-robed woman didn't mind and simply shook her head. It is yours. If you can't connect to it, it can only be evidence that your virtue, that your opportunities are lacking. Think of a method yourself. She clearly paused after mentioning his virtue. Meanwhile, Long Chen was staring at the lotus and didn't notice this detail. Just as she said this word, her expression twitched. A hint of nervousness appeared deep within her eyes. It was only when she saw that Long Chen didn't notice that she relaxed. Long Chen felt a rush of excitement when he heard that this lotus could help him expel faith energy. If that was true, would he need to be afraid of this cheating power in the future? However, the ice soul didn't seem to know much about the golden lotus. He could only test it himself. Long Chen told the ice soul that he was entering meditation, so she shouldn't disturb him. The ice soul nodded, and only then did Long Chen gather his mind. He began to use his soul to reach out to the lotus. Long Chen's soul sat in the air beside the golden lotus. He was looking at it without the slightest distracting thought. He quietly sensed its fluctuations. When its divine radiance illuminated his body, Long Chen felt like a layer of gold was covering him. In this state, he felt holy and untouchable. However, other than that, there was no change in the golden lotus. It just slowly revolved as it always did, bathing the primal chaos space with its light. One hour, two hours, three hours. Time slowly passed. There was still no reaction from the golden lotus. No matter how Long Chen tried to commune with it, it simply revolved as it always did. It was like it had no life at all. It didn't react at all. A day passed, then another and another. Long Chen stayed immersed in its golden light, his mind at peace. At first, he was continuously trying to commune with it. But toward the end, he seemed to forget his goal. He just sat in front of the golden lotus. Long Chen's inner heart was at peace. There wasn't the slightest fluctuation. The golden lotus was like a pure land. Beside it, everything was at peace. Just like that, Long Chen forgot about all his vexations. Time continued to pass. Long Chen had already entered a state of forgetting himself. He forgot about time. He forgot about space. And he even forgot about his own goal. Navaloon, calm on the seventh day, the golden lotus finally reacted. It slowly opened, revealing a golden platform in front of him. At this moment, the recovering ice soul suddenly opened her eyes. Looking at Long Chen sitting on the lotus platform, shock appeared in her eyes. Is he really the one that Master chose? But his murderous aura is so heavy. The other side of his inner heart contains a peerless devil. Master, did you really choose him? She looked at Long Chen being enveloped in golden light. Disbelief filled her. The moment Long Chen sat on the golden lotus platform, the faith energy in his wounds melted like snow in front of the sun. When the faith energy was gone, 
the ice soul formed hand seals and divine light flowed out of long chen and into her that was her energy the ice soul energy was truly terrifying even long chen's powerful healing abilities were unable to help heal him he could only slowly grind it away but now that the faith energy had been removed the ice soul energy could be recalled now there was no need for long chen to do anything the wood foundation divine trees automatically helped long chen heal long chen quickly recovered suddenly long chen was sent off of the platform and slowly opened his eyes a golden lotus mark in his eyes slowly faded long chen smiled he seemed to have finally formed the slightest connection with the golden lotus next time he wanted to use it to heal it shouldn't be so troublesome the state that he had just entered was one where he felt like he had escaped the bindings of the world and was simply watching things from the viewpoint of a spectator he saw himself he saw the golden lotus he also saw the recovering ice soul and he will linger he saw everything but didn't think about anything. He didn't do anything either. It was an indescribably profound and mysterious state. This strange state faded once he left the golden lotus. It was like his soul was put back into his body. But his fully recovered body delighted him. Long Chen looked at the golden lotus that was still slowly revolving. It was just like before, as if nothing had happened. I saw do you mind if i call you bing poon asked long chen i don't mind said the ice soul lightly how are you now have you recovered how is huo linger long chen looked at huo linger a bit worriedly i am inserting the energy of these flame foundation stones into her body she should be fully recovered in ten days as for myself a long time ago a battle damaged my core and i fell into their hands since then those bastards have been torturing me for millions and millions of years my core energy is gravely damaged to recover it might as well be impossible said the ice soul with killing intent she recalled her years of pain suddenly she looked at long chen but don't worry i will definitely do what i promised although i will not be able to fully recover in a short time my recovery speed will not throw off her rate of growth she will share all my power and help you fight the ice soul seemed to have misunderstood long chen's intentions she thought that he was worried she would be useless clearly she was saying that no matter how weak she was she would still be stronger than him huo linger would also grow with her long chen definitely wouldn't lose out by saving her long chen smiled bitterly although he didn't like her character he hadn't saved her because he wanted some repayment there was no need for her to explain herself long chen then left the primal chaos space and looked around there had been no movements in the past few days it seemed that the sacred pill hall also knew that it was impossible to chase him and had simply given up. Long Chen put away the formations. Taking a deep breath, he felt invigorated. He once more felt like a powerful dragon, and he even had the urge to find Yin Chengsheng for another fight. After examining his surroundings, he went in the other direction of the scorched land. After flying for half a day, he noticed a disturbance ahead of him. There were people fighting. Once Long Chen was closer and saw the situation, he immediately rushed over one. I soul is pronounced Bing Po. Chapter 3743 Liuo Tribe Long Chen saw three divine lords with overflowing blood kai fighting a group of world kings. Amongst them was also a half stack divine venerate. The three of them, were actually crushing their opponents. There were already dozens of corpses on the ground, all world kings. In the distance, Long Chen saw the ruins of a city. There were thousands of people inside with terrified expressions, and a group of immortal kings were guarding it. They wished to join the battle in front of them, but they were too weak. 
My tribe has no enmity with you. Why must you force us to this extent? Roared the half-step divine venerate as he barely managed to block one of the three. This person that he was blocking was a supreme heavenly genius. His blood kai was overflowing, and he gave off immense pressure. His aura contained a wild aura. He was actually from the demonic beast race. No enmity? Do I need enmity to kill your human race? You inferior humans, you never should have been born in this world. That demonic beast sneered and unleashed a punch on the elder's weapon. With an explosive sound, he actually faced a divine weapon barehanded, and his golden palm wasn't damaged in the slightest. Instead, it was the elder who was knocked back. This hand of his was his supreme bone. I'll go all out against you. The elder's blood kai was shaken, and he roared, directly igniting the flame of his life to raise his combat power. Navaloon, come see him. What are you going to use to go all out? The demonic beast sneered and extended his hand. A golden rune then appeared on his palm, and his wild aura instantly grew by several times. All of a sudden, a black light flickered and blood splashed. That man's hand was cut off. Following that, a black-robed man appeared and grabbed that hand. It was Long Chen. With a strike of his black dagger, he cut off that person's hand. When Long Chen grabbed it, it suddenly transformed into a giant bear paw. TCH, this thing is useless. Seeing it turn into a bear palm, Long Chen couldn't help being disappointed. He tossed it into the primal chaos space. Golden light was exploding from the bear paw just as he tossed it into the primal chaos space. It tried to escape Long Chen's hold, but the moment it entered the primal chaos space, the demonic beast roared in pain. His supreme bone aura instantly vanished. Having lost his supreme bone, the demonic beast instantly grew listless. Died. The elder, who was igniting his own life energy, suddenly swung his sword, and his opponent didn't even have the ability to resist. He was blown apart. A supreme expert who lost their supreme bone had essentially lost half of their life. He could only watch as death descended upon him. The other two divine lords were horrified. Their blood kai erupted, and they immediately turned to flee. Seeing this, those world kings tried to stop them, but were unable to block them. The two divine lords transformed into their true forms. They were both scaled eagles. Their wings shook, and they immediately appeared far into the distance. Suddenly, a saber image descended from the heavens, turning those two giant figures instantly into dust. When people looked back, they saw Long Chen slowly sheathing his saber as if he had just done something completely insignificant. This saber attack of his was silent and came without any warning. By the time they reacted, it was already over. Many thanks for saving us. My Liuo tribe will be forever grateful. The half-step divine venerate cupped his fists to Long Chen. If it weren't for Long Chen, even if he threw away this life of his, it was unknown if he could defeat this supreme expert. If he lost, then all his people behind him would also die miserable deaths. The Liuo tribe... One Long Chen was about to say some courteous words when he heard the elder say that they were from the Liuo tribe. He suddenly had a thought and looked at the fallen expert. Waving his hand, drops of fresh blood flew into his hand. Looking at this fresh blood, he saw the slightest trace of violet kai. He was shocked. When they saw this expression, these people's expressions all changed. They clenched their weapons nervously. Even the half-step divine venerate's expression changed. Although he did his best to keep his expression a bit more natural, he was unable to cover up his panic. You're from the violet blood race. Not bad. The elder sighed inside when he saw that Long Chen recognized their status. Quibbling was meaningless. He could only admit to it. You don't need to be nervous. Technically, I am also from the violet blood race. 
I suppose that I've encountered my own people today, said Long Chen with a slight smile. Despite Long Chen saying this, the people in front of him remained extremely vigilant against him. Your bloodline has almost regressed to the point of vanishing. If this continues, it won't be more than three generations before you completely lose the inheritance of the violet blood race. All the vine lord disciples come out, shouted Long Chen to the city. Those people looked at Long Chen and then at the elder. The elder was also nervous. He couldn't sense the slightest violet blood energy in Long Chen's body. However, Long Chen was able to cut off the supreme bone of a supreme expert and slay the other two in one attack. It was clearly easy for him to kill all of them if he so wished. The elder nodded to those people. Over three hundred divine lords walked out of the ruined city. Long Chen then plucked a lot of heavenly Tao fruit from the heavenly Tao tree and distributed them. These disciples didn't quite dare to eat them, and when they looked at the elder, they saw that he also had a distrusting expression. He didn't know if he should have the disciples eat them or not. When Long Chen handed the fruit to a young maiden, seeing her terror, Long Chen couldn't help rubbing her head comfortingly. Don't be afraid. Big Brother is helping you. This smile was quite infectious. This young maiden actually obediently nodded and directly consumed the fruit. As a result, the others all jumped. She had just eaten the fruit when her blood kai appeared around her body, forming a faint violet kai aura. When this violet kai appeared, everyone was filled with disbelief. Violet kai revival. Her violet kai has awoken. The half-step divine venerate was overjoyed. He stared at her in disbelief. Long Chen also continued to look at her. Regretfully, no violet runes appear in her eyes, so it could only be said that her violet blood was too sparse. Even the heavenly Tao fruit was only able to help her to this extent. After seeing her change, the other disciples also consumed the heavenly Tao fruit. Every single one of them became surrounded by Violet Kai. At this moment, the Liu tribe's experts were filled with disbelief. They felt like they were dreaming. Senior, can we talk? The half-step divine venerate suddenly bowed to Long Chen respectfully. One, this is the same Liu as in the Liu family. They are connected through Long Chen's mother, Liu Ningxuang. Chapter 3744 Major Matter of the Violet Blood Race No, you're the senior. Don't call me that. I can't accept it, said Long Chen hastily. The Violet Blood Race was his mother's family. No matter how strong he was, no matter how high his cultivation base was, he wouldn't dare to be rude in front of his mother's family. Navlu, calm then I'll be rude. Can we talk? Long Chen walked into the ruined city with the elder. There were several simple tents set up. Even before they approached, Long Chen could smell a dense herbal smell. Your people are injured? asked Long Chen. To tell the truth, while fleeing from threats, we had countless casualties. Hero, we can go inside first. The elder gestured to Long Chen, indicating for him to walk into a tent. No rush. Let me see their injuries first. Long Chen waved his hand. Not standing on courtesy, he directly walked into the other tent. Once he was inside, Long Chen jumped. There were thousands of people inside, and every single one of them had terrible wounds. Those wounds had black liquid dripping out of them, which emitted a disgusting smell of rot. Herbs had been applied to the wounds, but most of the wounds were festering to the point of being able to see bone. These people were on their last breaths, enduring immense pain. Edekai? This was done by the nether race. Long Chen frowned. Yes, it was the nether race. They chased us down, and hundreds of thousands of our people were slain as we fled. We now only have a few thousand people left. Furthermore, these herbs can only temporarily relieve their pain. As for whether or not they can survive, 
it's up to whether they can expel the netherkai themselves or not the chances are dismally low the elder's voice was heavy with sorrow as he looked at the wounded the odds of anyone surviving amongst these people were very low but they had no other way to block the nether kai they could only listen to the orders of fate violet stamen nether heart grass does have a suppressive effect on nether kai but while it treats the symptoms it does not treat the source the violet blood energy in their bodies is too weak after being wounded their essence blood is exhausted and they lose the ability to resist if this goes on these people will all die long chen shook his head the elder could only sigh he also knew this but they had no other solution i have some medicinal pills here have them consume the pills for now and that should protect their lives also have the disciples who consume the fruit come here their violet blood is abundant if they circulate it through their bodies they can help the wounded expel the nether kai said long chen long chen took out some medicinal pills as for the elder he was shocked and delighted he hastily summoned the disciples long chen took this time to take out dozens of kinds of plants from a region of the primal chaos space these were plants that he had gathered in the netherworld he had never had a use for them until now he then refined them together in his pill furnace turning them into a medicinal fluid there wasn't much technique required and he didn't even need to summon huo linger after refining the medicine he had the disciples apply it on the wounded as soon as this medicine was pressed against their wounds a huge amount of noxious black liquid flowed out of their wounds everyone was delighted to see this this signified that the nether kai was being diluted long chen instantly became viewed as a god by these people after applying the medicine several times these people's complexions improved he then had the people stop applying the liquid medicine he gave them another round of medicine pills and then told them to apply the liquid again in two hours after three rounds of this treatment all the nether kai within their bodies was expelled however they were all still extremely weak as if they had a serious illness despite that all their lives could be considered to have been saved countless families were weeping emotionally as they hugged these wounded people they had thought that they would lose their family members for sure Hero's great kindness is something that my Liuo tribe will never forget. The Liuo tribe's elder was incredibly emotional. He actually kowtowed to Long Chen. Fortunately, Long Chen was prepared and stopped him. Senior, there's no need to be courteous. My mother is from the violet blood race. She is also surnamed Liuo. To put it frankly, we are a family. If you're this courteous you'll make me feel bad hearing that the elder couldn't help asking then can this old man be so bold as to ask why there is not the slightest trace of violet blood fluctuations within your body as soon as he said this he felt bad and added please don't misunderstand it's not that i don't believe you i'm just very curious about this long chen smiled and said it's fine not long after i was born my spirit blood was taken by others what who would be so cruel it's fine that's in the past i don't want to talk about it just know that i have no bad intentions toward you is there anything else that you need my help with i'm not from the three thousand worlds so i still have many things to do this time i can't accompany you for too long said long chen these people were from the violet blood race and were even surnamed Liuo. According to reason, Long Chen should help them. At the very least, he should wait until they were fully recovered before leaving. However, he came to the three thousand worlds to grow. With limited time, he couldn't wait for long. The most worrisome thing was that the dragon expert had yet to communicate with Long Chen about where the dragon scale was if he couldn't count on the dragon expert 
he would have to run around himself and hope to run into it. The elder looked at Long Chen for a long time before suddenly clenching his teeth. Fine. Since you say that you're from the violet blood race, I will gamble. I'll tell you everything. My violet blood race has recently received a summons. We are going to do something major, and this matter relates to the life and death of the very violet blood race. However, we had just received the summons when the nether race's experts suddenly attacked us. After a battle with them, we fell back to this place, leaving our home. We also met blockades several times on our way, causing more and more people to be injured. As our power is a far cry from before, the jury will probably be much more dangerous as well. You say that you are from the violet blood race, so I will treat you as one of us. This is a keepsake of the violet blood race. Take it. Our violet blood race also has some powerful existences spread throughout the three thousand worlds. If you are in trouble, you can ask my violet blood race for help. If you feel a summons and are strong enough and have that ability, I hope that you can come help us. The elder took out an ancient jade pendant. It was violet and seemed to possess innate fluctuations of life. Violet blood flowed within it. Long Chen then rubbed the pendant, feeling an indescribable closeness to it. He said, Don't worry. I will definitely come assist you once I become an immortal king. But where are you going? The elder shook his head. We don't know either. Right now, we are gathering with another tribe of the violet blood race. Ah, uh, I have something for you. It should be something you need. The elder took out a beast hide. It was a map. Chapter 3745 New Discovery A Map of the Three Thousand Worlds Long Chen was delighted. That was precisely what he had needed the most. The territories of the powerful races, some blessed lands, treasure lands, taboo areas, danger zones, and other things are recorded on this map. However, our map isn't that detailed. It should only be used as a reference. These locations are too far from us, and we are unable to personally confirm things. We also don't know if these regions have changed since we last heard of them. In any case, don't take the map to be perfect. Hopefully it can help you a bit, said the elder. This is already perfect. A map is truly important to me. Otherwise, I'd be flying around like a headless fly. Long Chen smiled brightly. At this time, the injured people were starting to be able to stand. They all bowed to Long Chen and thanked him for saving their lives. The majority of these people were world kings, the main force of the Luo tribe. Once they were fully recovered, they should have some ability to protect themselves. Now they were in a rush to get on their way. Originally, they had only rested here because they had no way to continue traveling. These people had no choice but to rest, or they would die. Wait a moment. Long Chen took out a pile of heavenly Tao fruits. There were hundreds of thousands of them. When they saw the fruits, these people of the Liu tribe were completely stunned. It had to be known that these were practically divine fruits to them, something that could raise the density of their violet blood. It was a heaven-defying treasure. Just the few thousand fruits that Long Chen had taken out before were enough to make them endlessly grateful. Now that Long Chen took out more, they felt like they were dreaming. Bring these fruits with you. If you are on the verge of a large battle, use them well. There are also some medicinal pills and talismans here. They can save your lives in a moment of crisis. Long Chen then took out talismans and pills. Since he couldn't accompany them, he could only provide them with these things. The heavenly Tao fruits he gave them were almost his full stock, but he didn't mind. What he wanted now wasn't regular heavenly Tao fruit, but the supreme fruit. There would definitely be endless battles erupting in the three thousand worlds, so he would only get more heavenly Tao fruit. Hence, other than a few hundred heaven-tier heavenly Tao fruit, 
he gave all earth spirit and mortal tear fruit to them he also told them which fruit was best the best should be saved for the strongest ones with the purest bloodlines that would let them ascend to another level the luo tribes people didn't even know how to express their gratitude they thanked long chen repeatedly before leaving with their people once they were gone long chen secretly followed them for a while seeing that no one was following them he relaxed long chen looked at the barren heavenly dao tree there was only a single fruit emitting a supreme aura feeling startled long chen looked for the bear paw that he had thrown in before as a result he found that it was gone he asked lei linger and found that after he had tossed it into the primal chaos space it instantly corroded and vanished can it be that supreme bones cannot be absorbed by the primal chaos space the supreme kai is the bridge that connects the heavenly daos and the human dao once in the primal chaos space it is isolated from the heavenly daos having lost its connection to its master it simply rotted long chen nodded with comprehension too bad such a good supreme bone was wasted muttered long chen a bit regretfully however thinking about it it seemed that there really was no way to connect a bear paw to another person's bones could someone really fight with a hand that was even bigger than their body long chen then plucked that supreme fruit when he saw a tiny bear paw mark on it he was delighted could it be long chen instantly thought of a certain possibility would whoever consumed this fruit have their palm transform into a supreme bone if that was true then the heavenly dao tree was truly heaven defying if long chen had known this before Yuo ran wouldn't have had to suffer so much pain just to connect that arm to his body no the aura is wrong although it has the supreme aura it's much weaker compared to when it was attached to a body furthermore when Yuo ran attached his supreme bone its power didn't diminish in the slightest perhaps the method that Yuo ran used is better long chen carefully sensed the supreme fruit's aura compared to the previous bear paw its aura was about thirty percent weaker a portion of the energy had vanished he didn't know if it was absorbed by the heavenly dao tree or if its energy was lost in the conversion long chen looked at the heavenly dao tree he didn't know but he found that its aura had undergone some kind of silent transformation and yet he was unable to say what part was different looking at the supreme fruit in his hand long chen shook his head who cares in the future the dragon blood legion will definitely be a supreme legion just watch how we dominate the world long chen put away the supreme fruit and took out the map he was on the edge of the scorched land area and saw that the center of this scorched land area was marked as taboo the mark of the sacred pill hall was on it in other words that scorched land was well known to be taboo land owned by the sacred pill hall others were not permitted to approach it long chen then looked at the surroundings on the map and couldn't help laughing in order to throw off any enemies on his back he had undergone several random transportations which ended up bringing him in an arc around the scorched land however he supposed that this could be considered fortunate it was only due to this that he had ended up running into the luo tribe the mark on the map indicated that this was a pile of ruins there were several ruins here and no life forms occupied them looking even further he found that the closest human settlement was close to a day's travel away he would also need to cross a large river marked with danger and a beast warning this was most likely the territory of a beast race if he wanted to cross it it might be a bit difficult however he was in a rush for time so he couldn't bother about that he had to find a human settlement it's too bad if i knew that transportation talismans are so useful i'd have asked for some more 
Long Chen counted and found that he had fewer than a hundred transportation talismans left. He couldn't help being vexed. Before this, he had never really used talismans. But now, he understood just how convenient they were. With them, he had traveled so far without the slightest effort, and he was able to maintain his peak condition at all times, as well as being harder to notice. Unfortunately, he wasn't Xia Chen. Xia Chen was able to make more if he was out of stock. Because of this, Long Chen decided to leave these talismans for when he urgently needed them. Long Chen transformed into a giant lightning falcon and flew toward the city. Half a day later, Long Chen reached the riverside marked on the map and saw countless demonic beasts gathered there. After Long Chen's gaze roved around them, he suddenly flew directly toward their direction. Chapter 3746 Descendants of the Sun, a group of demonic beasts, was gathering. Amongst them was a divine venerate, who was saying something to the young demonic beasts. Looking behind this divine venerate, Long Chen could see a giant altar with a burning divine stone on it. The flames emitted immense faith energy. Children pray. Pray to our great sun god. It will bestow its blessing on you. When you become beast kings, the great sun god's blessing will look after you, illuminating your path forward. You will no longer be lost, no longer be alone. The divine venerate shouted loudly, waving his hands. Millions of demonic beasts knelt and shouted loudly along with him. There were hundreds of thousands of young demonic beasts praying devoutly. As they prayed, the divine stone on the altar shone even brighter, illuminating this world. The divine venerate knelt and kowtowed toward the altar, emotionally shouting, Great Sun God, do you hear your followers' devout calls? They are your children. They are on the verge of breaking through to the Beast King realm and need your guidance. They need your blessing. Please, suddenly, a ray of divine light descended from the heavens, illuminating the altar. Through the flames, they seemed to see a giant bird descend. Great Sun God, you've personally descended. The divine venerate cried out excitedly upon seeing this giant bird. He then repeatedly kowtowed. The other disciple also fervently cried out the name of the Sun God. Don't be emotional. If you want, I will come more often. A mocking voice rang out from the altar. The person to arrive at the altar was precisely Long Chen. He had noticed the divine stone on the altar from a great distance. At that moment, its flame fluctuations woke up the ice soul and Huo linger in the primal chaos space. As soon as they heard Long Chen's voice, these demonic beasts felt like something was wrong. They raised their heads from their kowtows. Just then, Long Chen reached out and grabbed the burning stone that was several meters tall. Following that, the altar dimmed. Friends, goodbye. If you really miss me, keep praying. If I hear you, I'll definitely come. Long Chen smiled warmly at the stunned demonic beasts. He then waved his hand, crushed a transportation talisman, and vanished. It took several blinks of an eye before these demonic beasts reacted. Their faith divine stone was actually stolen in broad daylight. This was no god descent. Heaven-shaking roars rang out. Chess. All the demonic beasts summoned their true forms and charged out in every direction. Regretfully, Long Chen had used several transportation formations and completely escaped their territory. Big Brother Long Chen, you're amazing. Within the primal chaos space, Huo Linger cried out delightedly. She then transformed into a flame dragon and began to absorb the energy of the flame divine stone. But she was stopped by the ice soul. This is the faith flame of the descendants of the sun. If you absorb it, you will become the mortal enemy of the sun's descendants. Think this through, warned the ice soul. Huolinger was startled. She didn't know how to respond. Long Chen's voice then rang out this time. What descendants of the sun? 
isn't it just the golden crow race are they so amazing i don't even know how many of their people i've slain before we were never friends so go ahead and absorb it the sun flame was the ultimate form of the golden crow flame in the heavenly flame world long chen had slain an unknown number of the golden crow race's experts he had long since stopped having any misgivings toward them hearing that Hua Linger was delighted. She hugged the divine stone and bit down. But then she was shocked to find that she was unable to absorb the divine stone's flame energy. The ice soul said, This isn't the ordinary golden crow flame. It is the flame of the sun's descendants. Although it isn't the true sun flame, it contains immense faith energy. It isn't something that you can devour now since you are so set on absorbing it fine i'll teach you a way to control flames once you devour it split a bit with me long chen was in the midst of flying when he heard the ice soul's words as a result his body swayed and he smashed into a mountain peak you're too shameless we're the ones risking the karma but you're just going to take the advantages raged long chen Big brother Long Chen, don't be like this. Big sister Bing Po is a good person. I'm willing to share this energy with her. Even before the ice soul said anything, Hua Linger already explained for her. Long Chen cursed inside. This child had been won over. Now, she even spoke for this outsider. Long Chen didn't know how that made him feel. But since Huo Linger had said this, there was nothing he could do. Bing Po transmitted a mnemonic chant to Huo Linger, who then mastered this technique in just a moment. After forming hand seals, flame chains shot out of her and wrapped around the divine stone. Flame energy was dragged out of the inside of the divine stone. They underwent a transformation through the chains before entering Huo Linger's body. After that, Huo Linger began to absorb the Divine Stone's energy. What Long Chen hadn't expected was for this stone to contain incomparably vast energy. Huo Linger's aura was climbing crazily. She didn't just recover her old power, but terrifying flames began to burst out of her body. She was unable to control just how much energy she was gaining. Bing Po then pressed her hands on Huo Linger's body. The energy that Huo Linger couldn't control was absorbed by Bing Po. This way, there was the slightest waste. In just two hours, the two of them completely absorbed all the flame energy. After that, the Divine Stone lost all of its colors and turned to dust. As for Huo Linger, she was like a completely different person. She was full of power. With a single raise of her hand, golden flames erupted out of her. She was still unable to fully control this power. The sun flame was ranked sixth on the heavenly flame ranking, even higher than the ice soul. Now, Huo Linger controlled a trace of the sun flame's power. Although it was just a trace, it was enough to cause her power to rise to an absolutely terrifying realm. Furthermore, Bing Po had also benefited. Originally, her body was a bit translucent, as if it might dissipate at any moment. But this energy caused her body to be a bit more condensed, and her complexion also improved. Even so, her aura hadn't changed. Huo Linger had absorbed half of the Divine Stone's energy, while the other half that leaked out was absorbed by Bing Po. As a result, Huo Linger was completely transformed, but this was almost nothing to Bing Po. Bing Po was like a sea on the verge of drying up. She needed an immense amount of energy to recover. Huo Linger became lively. She thanked Bing Po enthusiastically, just like she was her big sister. If there was a conflict between Long Chen and Bing Po, she would protect this big sister of hers. Bing Po didn't stand aloof. She began to transmit some techniques for controlling flames to Huo Linger. Compared to Bing Po, Huo Linger's flame control arts were crude. Seeing Bing Po seriously teach Huo Linger these techniques, Long Chen felt a bit better. 
it seemed that risking his life to save her had been worth it the next day long chen finally arrived at the marker of the city when he reached the city gates someone suddenly approached him long chen instinctively protected himself with his spiritual yuin causing that person to bounce off Aya, that person cried out and tumbled to the ground suddenly a group of hostile faces surrounded him an extortion scam long chen frowned a touch of killing intent appearing in his eyes noveloon com chapter three thousand seven hundred forty seven specialized in scamming the human race little fellow what do you think you're doing that person had just fallen when over ten immortal kings surrounded long chen none of them had friendly expressions little fellow are you blind hurry up and count how for knocking down my brother if you give some compensation we can pretend that nothing happened barked one immortal king just then three demonic beasts walked over as well they were also walking through the gate they then looked at long chen's predicament and sneered they just walked right through this group of immortal kings simply let the three demonic beasts pass through without making things hard on them once the demonic beasts were gone they once more turned to long chen impatiently what are you looking at kowtow and this matter will be over we won't make things hard on you long chen looked at them flames of anger were constantly spurting out of his heart he had seen such a scam many times if he really did pay as an apology they would only demand more and more with even more scams a single kowtow definitely wasn't sincere enough then he would need to pay for dinner for drinks until he was stripped of every bit of wealth saying sorry casually would be jumping right into the trap this was a probing blow according to the normal pattern a person would say a few tough words and then toss them some money as if buying a meal for a beggar then this matter would be over and these scammers wouldn't make things hard on them however long chen was enraged it wasn't due to them trying to scam him but because they were all humans yet they were only targeting their fellow humans completely ignoring those three demonic beasts just seeing the mocking sneers of those three demonic beasts enraged long chen the world needs to be rebuilt for order and this rebuilding needs to start from inside the human race said long chen coldly what kind of nonsense are you spouting hurry up and apologize the person who pretended to be knocked down charged forward and grabbed long chen's collar as a result he had just raised his hand when long chen caught him after that a painful sound of bones breaking rang out that person's arm was crushed ah uh, that person had not expected long chen to dare to resist he screamed in pain release him the others were also shocked and enraged as soon as long chen attacked they had a bad feeling it seemed that they had misjudged this didn't seem to be a fat sheep for the fleecing long chen then pointed a single finger the person who crashed into him had his head pierced just like that his screams ended when long chen released his hand that person's corpse fell to the ground with a thunking sound Bowder, someone is killing in front of the giant peak city's gates shouted the experts that surrounded long chen little fellow you dare to kill people in the city you are becoming enemies with all of giant peak city your death is sure their leader was in the midst of shouting when long chen's palm struck him he directly blew up into a blood mist ordinary immortal kings didn't have the slightest ability to resist in front of long chen the other experts were all horrified when they saw this and they began to flee at the same time powerful auras rose within the city the real experts had received word about this incident when long chen pointed his finger again more lightning arrows shot out the people that had surrounded long chen were killed one by one you're my daddy we were wrong please spare us 
Regretfully, Long Chan was not moved. Lightning flashed, and those people were quickly killed, all of them pissing themselves in terror. Their old arrogance was gone. Stop. Experts roared from inside the city, and four world kings charged out. But Long Chen ignored them. His finger continued pointing and killing the last few stragglers. The final one died right in front of the shouting world king. How brazen! You dare to run rampant in giant peak city. The next moment, an arc of saber light flew through the air, cutting that world king directly in two. The remaining three world kings were stunned. Long Chen's saber was as quick as lightning and yet silent. It didn't leak any aura. It was like a random swing of his saber. That world king was simply killed just like that Navaloon Kam Hu. Who are you? The remaining three world kings retreated in terror. Long Chen slowly walked over while holding a saber that was even taller than him. Seeing this scene, countless experts within and outside the city fled. They stared in shock at this black-robed man with his giant saber and soaring killing intent. Who I am isn't important. What is important is that you people that only bully your own race are about to become dead people, said Long Chen coldly. After killing that person with the Minghong saber, Long Chen shattered that person's you in spirit and searched through the fragments of his soul. As a result, Long Chen knew that this city was filled with trash. They bullied the weak while cowering from the strong. They bent their spines to other races, acting like dogs. But yet, they acted superior to their fellow humans, bullying the weaker members of their own race. The expressions of these three experts changed. They suddenly turned and fled, but just as they moved, the wind blew and Long Chen brushed past their shoulders. After that, the three of them could only look down in disbelief, watching half their bodies fall to the ground. They then lost consciousness, and their upper bodies also fell. After being struck by the Minghong saber, their Yuan spirits were wiped out. The Minghong saber was innately a weapon for killing. It specialized in devouring other people's souls to grow, and had devoured countless souls after following Long Chen in combat. It was growing stronger and stronger, to the point that it could even take Long Chen's place for searching through people's memories. Long Chen didn't even need to do a soul search himself. Inferior human, are you courting death? Just then, an icy roar rang out. At the same time, a snake bone whip came flying out of the city from many miles away. It accurately reached Long Chen's head in just a moment and it also contained a terrifying power, a supreme expert. This terrifying power was Supreme Kai. Long Chen didn't unleash his saber. He simply reached out and caught it with his left hand. At this moment, golden dragon scales covered his hand and a thunderous explosion rang out. Explosive power formed an ear-piercing ripple that spread from Long Chen's hand. After spreading thirty meters, it suddenly transformed into a violent tempest. Seeing it, countless people fled in terror. No one knew that the city was hiding a supreme expert, nor did anyone expect this black-robed man who wasn't emitting the slightest aura to catch a divine weapon barehanded. Get out here! Long Chen's roar was like thunder shaking the world. He pulled and the entire city quivered. Buildings were blown apart as a figure was forcibly dragged out by Long Chen. Chapter 3748 Powerful Huo Linger, a figure, was forcibly dragged out of the city by Long Chen. The immense power directly blasted apart many buildings. This figure roared furiously. When his snake bone whip lit up, Long Chen felt that it suddenly grew slippery. A soft, Greasy energy came out of it. It was like he was holding onto a mud fish, and it slipped out of his grasp. The whip easily escaped Long Chen's grasp. This was Long Chen's first time encountering such a greasy energy. The master of the whip appeared. It was a tall and slim man with long hair and a gloomy expression. 
He also had two horns. The Drake race. Long Chen instantly recognized his identity. This long-haired man looked at Long Chen greedily. He then suddenly raised his head and roared. His manifestation burst into existence behind him, and scales covered his entire body. A giant drake appeared in his manifestation. His blood kai instantly ignited. He swung his snake bone whip, and it actually pierced toward Long Chen like a sword. Your true dragon essence blood is mine. Hearing this, Long Chen snorted. Just as he raised the Mingong saber, he heard Huo linger. Big brother Long Chen, leave him to me. A cute figure appeared in front of Long Chen. As soon as Huo Linger appeared, this world was filled with a terrifying heat. It was like everyone had fallen into a sea of fire. What Long Chen hadn't expected was for Huo Linger to actually be wearing a white dress. It was the same thing that Bing Po wore Navalun Kam as soon as she appeared. She slashed the true fire sword at the snake bone whip. Boot. The whip quivered and a layer of frost covered it. The frost rapidly spread until it reached the Drake expert. Seeing this scene, that expert was shocked. He repeatedly shook his arm, unleashing his supreme blood to shake off the frost. However, he was shocked to find that it was impossible to shake it off. Most terrifying of all, the frost was burning. The more he shook it, the more intensely the flames burned. His supreme blood actually became its fuel. He had never seen such a terrifying flame before. Just as the frost was about to cover his hand, he roared and let go of the whip. A blood-colored ray of light then shot out of his mouth at Huo Linger. That light was like a viper spitting out its poison. Just looking at it gave people ominous chills. They instinctively fled even further away, as they sensed a mortal danger from it. Drake poison? Long Chen was a bit surprised. Even he retreated. He didn't want to get touched by that. A drake was not a true dragon. It still retained the snake's fangs and poison. That was one of its life-protecting trump cards. Many of the powerful drakes in this world relied on this poison to threaten others. It was a powerful threat that drove off enemies. But in the face of that attack, Huo Linger simply swung the true fire sword. A layer of ice covered the true fire sword as it struck the blood-colored light. As a result, blood mist filled the air. This mist burned before transforming into black smoke. Even the mist is toxic. People hastily retreated even further. The black smoke spread, corroding a hole in the void. Some drops sprayed to the ground, leaving holes in the ground and buildings. Long Chen was shocked inside. This drake's poison was truly terrifying. Fortunately, when he grabbed his whip, he covered his hand in dragon scales. Otherwise, it would be troublesome for his hand to be poisoned. Then, suddenly, a sound made everyone jump. Yul Linger had shattered the blood-colored light with a slash of her sword, and then grabbed the whip. She then attacked the drake with his own weapon. However, Huo Linger had never used such a weapon. Her fierce swing caused the whip to swing through the air and cause an explosion above her head. Huo Linger almost hit herself. She jumped and hastily tossed the whip to Long Chen. Long Chen had just grabbed it when he found that the frost on top of it was gone, and it once more grew slick. Long Chen knew that the drake was trying to control it. However, Long Chen didn't give him that chance and directly tossed it into the primal chaos space. The drake coughed up blood once the whip entered the primal chaos space. He ord. That was his innate life weapon. When he lost his connection to it, a part of his soul was essentially ripped away. He was shocked and enraged. This injury meant that he could no longer keep fighting. You inferior human, just wait. The drake roared and turned to flee. I soul phantom. Huel Linger snorted and her body swayed. A figure flew out of her body. That figure had just appeared when a sword appeared beside the drake and cut him in two. 
After that, the phantom returned and merged back into Huel Linger. People barely saw a blur. Even Long Chen didn't know what Huel Linger had done. A giant drake thumped to the ground in two pieces. Even his Yuan spirit was destroyed by this attack. His corpse caused dust to rise into the air. Countless people looked from the corpse to Long Chen. Many of them were already starting to flee. Long Chen waved his hand. Those two pieces of the corpse then flew into the air. He solemnly said, You're an expert worthy of respect. I won't let your corpse rot in the wild. After saying that, he righteously tossed it into the primal chaos space's black soil. It instantly devoured it and unleashed a shocking amount of life energy. Just as Long Chen had estimated, this corpse was very valuable. At the same time, a scarlet fruit appeared on his heavenly Dao tree. He had another supreme fruit. Long Chen then stood in the air and looked down on the entire city. Seeing countless experts of various races hiding in the dark, he sneered. Other races bully the weak and cower from the strong. But the scum of the human race only knows how to bully people of the same race. You people will be the first to betray the human race in the battle against other races. Fools, don't run into me again or I'll kill you, warned Long Chen darkly. After saying that, he pulled Hu Linger back into the primal chaos space and in front of countless gazes, walked onto the transportation formation. Long Chen's vision then changed. He saw a sea of people around him. However, before he even had a clear view of everything, a fuming voice rang out. Long Chen, let's see where you will run now. Chapter 3749 Fulfill Your Wish Long Chen's gaze turned to the source of the voice, and he saw a supreme heavenly genius staring at him coldly. Long Chen didn't recognize him, but based on the thrumming devil Kai coming from his body, it was clear he had a reason for being so hostile. This devil expert had dozens of other members of his race around him. Three of them were also supreme experts. But the rest were merely ordinary members of the devil race. At this moment, countless experts around the transportation formation were looking over at Long Chen due to the devil expert's roar. This transportation formation was located outside of an ancient city. This city was called the Seven Star City. As for its origins, Long Chen didn't know. It was simply marked as such on the map. This city was a central power. Although it was the territory of the human race, the other races were also welcomed here. As long as they didn't cause trouble in the city and followed the rules here, Seven Star City would welcome them. This was a rather large city within the Three Thousand Worlds. There were tens of thousands of transportation formations inside leading to many places. In fact, these transportation formations were able to cover almost 1% of the area in the 3,000 worlds. Although 1% sounded small, it had to be known that the 3,000 worlds were enormous. 1% of its land was something that an ordinary divine lord flying at full speed would require a century to cross. Furthermore, the Three Thousand Worlds were filled with many races, taboo areas, and danger zones that couldn't be crossed. Being able to cover one percent of it was already amazing. Thus, Seven Star City was filled with countless heavenly geniuses. There were the native experts, as well as the geniuses of the Nine Heavens. The liveliness was rather chaotic. To the experts of the Nine Heavens, this opening of the Three Thousand Worlds was an extremely rare chance to temper them. But it was the same thing for the natives. That was because when the Three Thousand Worlds opened to the Nine Heavens, a heaven-toppling transformation would occur within the Three Thousand Worlds. The laws of the world would grow complete, and breaking through to the Immortal King realm at this time would mean that condensing a heavenly Tao crown was no longer a dream. Furthermore, when the gate to the Nine Heavens was opened, some forbidden areas, danger zones, and treasure lands would burst out like volcanoes within the Three Thousand Worlds. All kinds of treasures would appear. 
the experts of the nine heavens had waited years for this chance but so had the experts of the three thousand worlds seven star city was only a somewhat large city within the three thousand worlds it wasn't close to the biggest cities despite that many experts were gathered here perhaps they were in the midst of travel or they were resting buying supplies or gathering with others just the number of divine lords alone in this city was uncountable supreme experts were not even particularly novel here with just a random look you could find a few quite a bit of attention was drawn by the devil experts challenge toward long chen however people's expressions were still calm and apathetic it seemed that they had long since gotten used to such a thing how laughable when have you ever seen me run if the three of you want to play i'll accompany you said long chen indifferently even in front of three supreme experts long chen didn't take them seriously last time huo linger had slain that demonic beast supreme expert with barely any effort at all long chen very much wished to know just how powerful she was now it is forbidden to fight in front of seven star city if you want to compete go to the life and death stages to the city's west long chen had just replied when a guard beside the transportation formation warned them coldly only then did long chen take note of ten armored guards surrounding the transportation formation even some of the guards here were half-step divine venerates long chen saw four elders and was amazed inside but thinking about it if it was just world kings standing guard over this place these arrogant heavenly geniuses wouldn't give a damn about them long chen do you dare to fight on the martial stage the devil expert shouted at him he clearly had immense confidence in himself he intentionally spread his voice far and wide drawing countless gazes even some experts that had already walked into the city turned back to look there were countless experts here the various races and powers stared at long chen every single one of them had the attitude of watching a good show just you no my time is very precious long chen eyed him although he did want to pluck a few more supreme heavenly dao fruits after seeing so many supreme experts here he was in no rush the meat would land in his pot sooner or later are you afraid this is your human race's city are you going to lose the face of the entire human race here sneered the devil expert long chen ignored him and walked toward the city gates brushing past him long chen continued into the city countless experts shook their heads feeling like long chen was gutless they were sad about not being able to see a good show how useless did your parents give birth to a tortoise suddenly a human expert sneered just as long chen reached the gate this person was also a supreme expert with a shocking aura he obviously looked down on Long Chen for not daring to face this challenge. However, as soon as he said this, black kais whirled in Long Chen's eyes. The entire world seemed to fall into an iceberg. That person's expression completely changed. He was the first to sense anything. A golden shield appeared in his hand. Stop. It is forbidden to attack within Seven Star City those four half-step divine venerates shouted furiously boom regretfully long chen didn't listen to them the minghong saber came out of its sheath like a bolt of lightning that golden shield was just raised when long chen's saber fell the golden shield's runes had yet to fully light up and its defenses weren't even activated as a result long chen's saber shattered it half of the human expert's body exploded just as his broken body quivered along with his soul long chen passed by him cutting his throat his head flew through the air a supreme expert didn't even have a chance to unleash his power before being slain brett how brazen capture him those four half-step divine venerates were enraged to kill someone in front of the city gate 
was clearly a challenge to the dignity of Seven Star City. He didn't place them in their eyes. Thus, the four of them attacked at the same time. Scram, Long Chen, swept out the Minghong saber. When his divine ring and starry sea appeared, a layer of starlight appeared on the Minghong saber. Boom! A huge explosion erupted. The four half-step divine venerates grunted at the same time and were blown back. Now, countless people were shocked. The devil experts that had previously challenged Long Chen were the most shocked. They had not expected him to be so terrifying. Their expressions completely changed when Long Chen looked at them now. Explosive killing intent was barely contained in Long Chen's eyes, completely locking onto them. Suddenly, Long Chen's figure vanished. Goosebumps then exploded over their bodies. A terrifying sense of death enveloped them. Since you wish to die so badly, I will fulfill your wish. When Long Chen reappeared, he was right above their heads. The Minglong saber slashed down like a river of stars. Chapter 3000 750 Ice Soul Displays Power These devil experts were horrified as Long Chen was too powerful. He didn't even care what this place was and immediately started killing. The three supreme experts had yet to enter their combat state. They barely had time to summon their divine weapons before Long Chen's saber struck them. Split the heavens three. Oh, the saber slashed down shattering the ten thousand dows. As a result, the three of their weapons shatter along with them. All of them were wiped out. The Minghong saber rumbled like an ancient beast awakening. Its aura grew even stronger. Even the shattered runes of the divine weapons were devoured by it. It used those runes to strengthen itself. One man and saber, both erupting with overwhelming killing intent. Long Chen's expression was gloomy. He was enraged. Giant Peak City was like this, and this Seven Star City was the same. The human race had truly fallen. The human race's depravity stemmed from their hearts. It was a decay of the spirit. Other races were united, helping each other. Only the human race never ceased to fight amongst themselves, harming themselves while ingratiating themselves with other races. He could not understand how the human race had become like this. Long Chen gradually understood why Xia Yuang had warned him to be wary of his own race before entering the Three Thousand Worlds. Normal enemies weren't to be feared. It was the enemies that couldn't be seen that were truly frightening. Furthermore, even more frightening than the invisible enemies were the comrades that you thought you could trust. As a human, seeing the human race in this state enraged and aggrieved Long Chen. Looking at them, Long Chen felt like some long-lost memories were being dredged up. Human, you're courting death. A violent pressure suddenly crashed down on Seven Star City. Devil Kai covered the sky. A divine venerate of the devil race had come. If Long Chen killed humans, he wouldn't bother. But to kill members of the devil race here was a provocation to the devil race. As soon as he appeared, several divine venerates appeared within the city. Friend of the devil race, calm your anger. Violence cannot solve everything. Don't make things hard on us. There were three human divine venerates who came out. Their expressions were solemn. They blocked the devil expert's path but also blocked Long Chen's path of retreat. They surrounded Long Chen. Your human race is quite brazen. You dare to kill my devil race's people in front of everyone. Do you think my devil race is easy to bully? shouted the devil divine venerate. Friend, calm yourself. We will give an explanation to your devil race for this matter, said one elder of the human race politely. However, when he turned to look at Long Chen, that polite expression completely vanished, replaced with an icy sharpness. You broke the rules of my seven-star city. I don't care what heaven you're from, who your master is, or what's your background. Now that you are in the three thousand worlds, you have to follow the rules of the three thousand worlds. 
for you to have killed people in front of me are you going to force me to make you kneel or will you do it yourself rules ah oh. long chen raised his head and laughed right you're one hundred percent right there need to be rules but in the future everything within the nine heavens and ten lands will follow my rules long chen's mingong saber seemingly affected by long chen's immense killing intent was excited it seemed to want to taste the blood of divine venerates little fellow you don't know how high the heavens are you dare to resist the human divine venerates became gloomy they didn't want to take action in this place because they didn't want to damage the city that was why they stopped that devil expert suddenly the three of them tightened their encirclement around long chen divine light lit up behind their heads and an invisible divine pressure crashed down on long chen like a tsunami long chen's body sank after that his bones began to creak and cracks spread on the ground beneath his feet the pressure of divine venerates the three of them didn't want to fight they just wanted to use this pressure to subdue long chen this pressure contained three divine venerates unquestionable will anyone who dared to resist would have their soul directly crushed if it was a single divine venerates pressure as a supreme heavenly genius perhaps they would be able to escape the lock of the other side but for three to activate it at once it was essentially an unbreakable net the space around long chen condensed and this terrifying pressure formed an invisible tempest around him they were trying to use their wills to crush him long chen was enraged even these divine venerates were submitting to the devil race were all the humans within the three thousand worlds so gutless competing in terms of will long chen had never been afraid of anyone in that regard but in terms of power if he were to fight them head on he would definitely die however despite knowing that he shouldn't have provoked them when his anger soared he couldn't control himself in fact the will of the pill sovereign deep within him did not permit him to retreat long chen then clenched the mingong saber his one hundred eight thousand stars quivered and endless power bushed out just as long chen was preparing to fight to his death a figure appeared behind long chen it was a peerless beauty the white robed ice soul bing po once she appeared ice spread from her covering the ground the three divine venerates expressions instantly changed they hastily fell back at the same time mist swirled out of their heads it was like a burning furnace was suddenly covered in ice once bing po appeared the three leaders that were using their wills to suppress long chen felt a sharp pain in their souls they were injured by the will of the ice soul fortunately they quickly retreated upon seeing this otherwise the consequences would be unrecoverable they stared in shock at her who are you shouted one of the divine venerates they couldn't sense bing po's aura however they sensed a mortal threat from her just looking at her made their souls feel uneasy you aren't qualified to ask about my origins if you want to die just come bing po's gaze swept over the crowd coldly those divine venerates felt like their souls were about to freeze when her gaze fell on them they were horrified they were unable to see through this white-robed woman navaloon Kam bing po help me out kill them all transmitted long chen darkly impossible i'm in an incredibly weak state right now at most i can scare them with my will if they attack i'll be exposed hurry up and think of a way to leave i am not a match for them in my current state don't do anything stupid responded bing po long chen clenched the mingong saber he blared at the three divine venerates of the human race as well as the devil race's experts the human race's face has been completely lost by you you've forgotten history and the sea of blood enmity forgetting the past is equivalent to betrayal you've betrayed the human race 
I long Chen hereby swear that the day I reach the peak, I will clean up all of you traitors. After saying that, Long Chen walked toward the gate just like that. Bing Po stayed behind him, walking elegantly. Ice crystals appeared on the ground where she walked. But after a moment of cold, white flames burst into existence. Countless people were shocked and didn't dare to stop them. Long Chen swaggered into the city just like that. Chapter 3751 Speak with power upon entering the city, Long Chen saw countless fearful gazes looking at him. No one dared to challenge him again, and they all distanced themselves from him. Wherever Long Chen went, people fled. Long Chen was like a demon spreading disease. No one dared to even get somewhat close to him. In truth, they weren't afraid of Long Chen. They were afraid of the one behind him. Bing Po had terrified everyone. Although Bing Po had her court energy extracted for millions and millions of years, she was still the ice soul divine flame, an existence that ranked eighth on the heavenly flame ranking. At her peak, a single thought could destroy heaven and earth. The hotness that stemmed from deep within her soul was enough to suppress everyone. As long as a divine venerate didn't attack, no one would be able to tell that it was a bluff. As for those young heavenly geniuses, they didn't even dare to look at her. In all his years of fighting, it was Long Chen's first time being able to rely on such a powerful backer to terrify everyone around him. However, Long Chen's expression remained ugly. It looked like he was about to start killing at any moment. The arrival of Bing Po shook everyone. Even divine venerates didn't dare to attack Long Chen let alone the others. Once Long Chen entered Seven Star City, over ten gazes locked onto Bing Po. Those people were all divine venerates, but even they had fearful expressions. Seeing that Long Chen wasn't doing anything extreme, they just hid in the dark. Amongst these divine venerates, the human ones felt the most uneasy, afraid that Long Chen would cause a ruckus here and start killing then this city would be destroyed. However, they felt blessed that while Long Chen's expression was frighteningly dark, nothing crazy happened. Countless experts secretly implored their disciples not to provoke him. Why are you so angry? asked Bing Po. Because these people have forgotten history. They've forgotten the human race's enmity. How our ancestors died miserable deaths. Now, they are colluding with the people who killed their ancestors, fawning over them, practically being servants. How can I not be enraged? demanded Long Chen. Long Chen firmly believed that what he had seen in the violet flame heaven was all true. That had been a glance into history. Furthermore, on the martial heaven continent, Long Chen had also suffered the oppression and killing of the devil race, blood race, beast race, corrupt path, and other powers. The human race's history was a humiliating history of blood. Thus, Long Chen particularly hated those races. And yet, the most hateful thing in this world was traitors. Although Long Chen had seen many traitors of the human race, when Long Chen entered the Three Thousand Worlds, his hatred grew even more intense. He had a strong urge to kill all of them, Regretfully, his power was limited. It wasn't enough to defeat divine venerates. Otherwise, he would have destroyed Seven Star City. This is the strong point of your human race, as well as the weak point. Other races have their ancient enmities carved into their bones, into their souls. But your human race's memories are not inherited. You need to study your past to learn it. The good thing is that you don't have to live with the heavy burden of ancient enmities. That makes life a bit easier, a bit happier. But the bad thing is that once the scar heals, history constantly replays in a cycle. It's as if the human race can never break free from this cycle. That is the fatal weakness of your human race. As long as this cycle isn't broken, your human race will always remain below average amongst the ten thousand races. 
it doesn't matter how strong or glorious your human race once was. It doesn't matter what kind of height you once stood at. Without breaking this cycle, any glorious era is nothing more than a flash that cannot last. After the battle of the immemorial era, the human race fully declined. You not only lost your faith, but also your dignity. In the current era, there are not many hearts with self-respect. If you want to find the human race's dignity again, it will be difficult, very difficult, said Bing Po calmly. Difficult isn't impossible. Accomplishing something difficult is to be treasured. As long as I don't die, I will break these rules of the world and create a world that I want, said Long Chan with firm determination. Why are you so attached to this? asked Bing Po. Long Chen suddenly paused and looked at Bing Po, staring into her eyes. If I have never seen the light, I would be able to endure living in the dark. But now that I've seen it, I can no longer tolerate this world's chaos. Once the entire world is dark, a speck of light is a blasphemy. In the past, I've also asked myself about it. Why do I not fit into this world? Am I the one that is wrong, or is it this world that is wrong? My inner heart was split, entering a state of self-question. Fortunately, I encountered Aunt Gong. She made my heart stable and solid. She bestowed the golden lotus on me, illuminating my path forward. I now understand that I am not wrong. The world is not wrong either. If neither of us is wrong, then the only thing to do is to use power to speak. Bing Po looked into Long Chen's eyes. Those gemstone-like eyes of his rippled ever so slightly. She then nodded and didn't reply. It was unknown if she agreed with Long Chen or simply felt that he deserved praise for his bravery. It was an unfathomable feeling. Once Long Chen was in the city, quite a few people hid themselves in fear. However, seeing that Long Chen did not seem to wish for trouble despite his dark expression, people gradually calmed down. The city once more settled down and grew lively. Long Chen arrived at the center of the city. This was the marketplace. Since no one dared to attack Long Chen, Bing Po returned to the primal chaos space. She was worried that someone would notice a clue if she stayed out too long. Seven Star City was large. The native experts and the experts from outside gathered here. Hence, there were many treasures that could be bought here. However, people were mostly trading items here. They rarely used money. They simply used anything they didn't need to trade for things that they did need. Long Chen used some medicinal pills to trade for fire attribute spirit stones to help Bing Po recover. For Bing Po to help him out by scaring off a group of divine venerates, Long Chen naturally couldn't let her lose out. He bought some ores to compensate her. Regretfully, there weren't that many fire attribute treasures available. While Long Chen's medicinal pills were very rare treasures that made many people greedy, other than fire attribute treasures, Long Chen didn't want anything that they had. Long Chen bought a few more maps. They were around the same as the map that the Luo tribe had given him. However, the Luo tribe's map could be considered older. Some markers were no longer accurate, and some territories had changed hands. There were also more taboo areas. Long Chen then paid hundreds of thousands of immortal king crystals to get a complete set of information, which contained news of the major powers of the three thousand worlds. It told him their power level, how many experts they had, and the strengths and weaknesses of their heavenly geniuses. This way, Long Chen would have at least some understanding of the three thousand worlds. A few hundred thousand immortal king crystals was definitely worth it. Boom! Suddenly, an explosion came from outside the city. Everyone was startled. People are fighting again. The people in the city rushed out, including Long Chen. He saw around eighty corpses on the ground, as well as a long-haired man whose sword was stained with blood. Killing intent erupted from his eyes, 
and lightning runes revolved around his body. When Long Chen saw this man, he was overjoyed. Chapter 3752 Calligraphy Sects Lai Chenggang Jiang Lei Long Chen shouted emotionally when he saw that long-haired man. He was a dragon-blood warrior. He was one of the very rare warriors in the dragon-blood legion with lightning affinity. Who would have thought that Long Chen would run into him here? Suddenly, the four half-step divine venerates standing guard over the transportation formation attacked at the same time. Enraged, Long Chen appeared right in front of Jiang Lei in an instant. His Minghong saber slashed out. As a result, a heaven-shaking explosion erupted and a giant ditch was left in the ground. Those four half-step divine venerates all coughed up blood and were blown back. They were truly unlucky. Long Chen had previously blown them back, and now they even coughed up blood. After that attack, Long Chen was surprised. He looked back at a certain person. It was a slim man with a square face. He had bushy eyebrows and large eyes wearing a scholar's cap and blue robes. He was carrying a large scroll on his back. Looking closely at the scroll, Long Chen seemed to see strange characters written on it. It seemed to be an extremely ancient scroll. Also, despite overflowing with the air of a scholar, this man's expression was strong. He didn't look like a weak scholar. It was a very curious feeling. Buzz, Jiang Lei had killed people in front of the city. After that, he had assumed that he was going to die against the four half-step divine venerates and was thinking of dragging one down with him in death. But unexpectedly, Long Chen came. Long Chen patted Jiang Lei's shoulder and then turned to the scholar. I'm Long Chen. Thank you for saving my brother. Jiang Lei was startled. He thought that it was Long Chen who had saved him. He hadn't expected that it was someone else. Even before Long Chen's saber landed, he already saw a character appear in the void. That character then exploded, knocking the four of them back and making Long Chen's saber miss its target. At that time, Long Chen was truly shocked. That character looked completely unremarkable, but when it exploded it unleashed heaven-shaking power. Even four half-step divine venerates were unable to resist it. However, this person carefully chose the appropriate amount of power to use. He only sought to knock the four of them back and save Jiang Lei. The four were only injured and coughed up blood because of Long Chen's saber kai that passed by them. Long Chen, the youngest dean in all the High Firmament Academy's history, asked the scholar, feeling surprised. Yes, I'm ashamed to say that I am. May I ask for your name? Long Chen cupped his fists. He hadn't expected this person to know his name. The scholar returned the courtesy. I am Lai Chenggen. I come from the calligraphy sect. Greetings, Dean Long Chen. The calligraphy sect. Now it was Long Chen's turn to be shocked. It wasn't just Long Chen. Even the other experts jumped in shock. The divine venerates that were rushing over furiously were also stunned. The four immemorial sects. They had the major inheritances of the four arts, the zither, chess, calligraphy, and painting. They existed beyond the rest of the world. Others rarely even saw their head or tail, and they were extremely mysterious. People didn't even know where their sects were located. The four immemorial sects' experts rarely appeared. Only their disciples occasionally roamed the world to gain experience, but even those disciples were rarely seen. The disciples roaming the world seldom caused a conflict with others, nor would they provoke any trouble. Thus, people rarely saw their disciples fight. Although no one knew where the four immemorial sects were located, and despite not knowing just how powerful they were, no one dared to provoke their disciples. Their disciples rarely caused trouble, but if anyone dared to make things hard on them, they wouldn't have a good ending. 
that was because once some sects had refused to believe these rumors and killed a disciple of the zither sect in less than three days their entire sects were wiped out millions of disciples and seven divine venerates all died within their sects most terrifying of all once these people were dead there was no sign of how they had died it was like their lives had simply been stripped of them in an instant they were powerless to resist even divine venerates hadn't shown any sign of resistance that had caused a huge uproar back then throughout the nine heavens and ten lands and even in other places all kinds of stories spread in any case anyone who dared to make things hard on the disciples of the four immemorial sects would not have a good ending this was also why people were shocked by Lai Chenggang's origin. The divine venerates, who were rushing over to punish him, were at a loss. So you're from the illustrious Kalerufi sect. No wonder you have such skill. Admirable. Long Chen once more cupped his fists. Lai Chenggang smiled slightly. Compared to the illustrious High Firmament Academy, our Kalerufi sect can't count for anything. My master once told me that the GLI original text can only be found within the High Firmament Academy. It is said that the GLI races experts personally wrote it, and first-generation GLI characters are written on it. I have long since wished to pay a visit to have a look. However, I felt like it would be rude to suddenly demand such a thing, so I've never gone. If I have a chance, I will be so rude as to come pay a visit. I hope Dean Long Chen won't mind sharing his knowledge. GLI original text. Long Chen had never heard of it. But if this was coming from the mouth of Lai Chenggen, it should be true. It seemed that he truly did understand too little about the High Firmament Academy. Long Chen smiled. If Brother Lai comes, I will naturally welcome you. However, I am only a branch dean. I can't guarantee anything about the main academy. But if Brother Lai personally comes to the academy, that will show your sincerity. I trust that the great dean will not disappoint you. When it came to the academy's affairs, Long Chen didn't know that much. Thus, he didn't dare to rashly promise such a thing. He didn't want to end up breaking that promise in the future. All right, then if I have a chance, I will definitely take the chance to study at the High Firmament Academy. Even if I can't see the GLI original text, just seeing the world's number one academy would be worth it. Lai Chenggeng smiled. After saying that, he turned to the divine venerates. Seniors, my calligraphy sect doesn't like to meddle in other people's affairs. But these people truly went too far. If you are to insult people, you shouldn't bring up their parents. If you are to incite hatred, do not bring up a person's wife and children. A person should have some respect. What does that mean? Demanded one divine venerate coldly. He had a pair of wings and powerful blood kai. He was a demonic beast. As for the people that Jiang Lei had just killed, they were from the demonic beast race. Simply that people should not go too far. Don't bully people too badly, responded Lai Chenggeng lightly. Even in front of a divine venerate, he wasn't the slightest bit afraid. And if I insist on going too far, demanded that divine venerate. Clearly, this divine venerate didn't have much of an understanding of the four immemorial sects. He didn't dare to provoke Long Chen, but it seemed that he wanted to test Lai Chenggeng. Furthermore, the other divine venerates simply watched on. They looked at that demonic beast oddly, but didn't say anything. People had only heard rumors of the four immemorial sects. What they knew about them was limited to legend. As for whether the four immemorial sects were truly as terrifying as the legends said, no one knew. Since this divine venerate wanted to test one of their disciples, they also wanted to see the truth. If you insist on it, I suppose that I'll have no choice but to talk reason with you. Lai Chenggeng snorted. His robes began to flutter despite the lack of wind. 
his scroll slowly opened after that an ancient desolate kai filled the world chapter three thousand seven hundred fifty three heavenly river nine revolution jade bamboo the scroll opened it was made of bamboo tiles covered in dense characters heavenly river nine revolution jade bamboo when this scroll opened and revealed the clear marks within countless people cry out in shock recognizing the material that this scroll was made of it was actually a legendary immortal plant heavenly river nine revolution jade bamboo every strip of the tile was three feet long and one inch wide its body was the color of green jade there were nine thin and long lines on top of every strip of it legend had it that heavenly river nine revolution jade bamboo was different from other bamboos other bamboos were hollow but at the center of heavenly river nine revolution jade bamboo was a rod-like bamboo heart this bamboo heart was a divine material it was incredibly tough impervious to blade or spear fire or water every ten million years another line would appear in the bamboo heart that was the line of its life and also its growth ring Lai Chenggang's scroll was made out of bamboo tiles every single tile was the bamboo heart of the heavenly river nine revolution jade bamboo and it had nine lines in other words every single tile had ninety million years of history ninety million year old bamboo heart that was practically a natural world domain divine item it was incomparably precious but every single inch of Lai Chenggang's scroll was made out of it it consisted of ninety-nine tiles a single bamboo heart of the heavenly river nine revolution jade bamboo was only three feet long in other words this scroll was made out of ninety-nine bamboo hearts of ninety million year old heavenly river nine revolution jade bamboos that was equivalent to ninety-nine world domain divine items linked together its value was unimaginable the scroll was covered in countless dense characters what shocked long chen was that they were all second generation gli immortal characters long chen only recognized a few of them however the most shocking thing to long chen was that amongst those gli immortal characters long chen recognized three in particular suppression death seal although long chen wasn't too familiar with inscription arts he knew that inscription arts were developed from Gli immortal characters. Xia Chan had once told him that Gli immortal characters were the natural script of the heavenly Daos. They were the most primitive, most original script. They were the form that the ten thousand laws of heaven and earth manifested into. As soon as Lai Chenggang revealed his scroll, any scholarly and refined air around him vanished. He was no longer a weak scholar. There was a wild fanaticism in his eyes. It was like he had transformed into a different person. Looking at the demonic beast's divine venerate, he coldly said, I once asked my master why I had to read books. My master said, Reading books allows one to understand reason. I then asked, If we can read books, why must we cultivate? My master said, reading books is to talk reason with others. Cultivating is for when you talk reason with others and fail. Then it is time to go back to the essence, the constant truth of heaven and earth. Your human race has something wrong in the head. You always say incomprehensible things to make yourselves seem profound. Who cares about the four immemorial sects? In my eyes, they are nothing more than dog shit today why don't you show me just how powerful the human race's secret arts passed down from time immemorial are the demonic beast divine venerate snorted and stepped forward arriving right in front of lai chenggang as soon as he made his move countless experts fled in terror when a divine venerate thought the world could be destroyed with the wave of a hand they might also be implicated by the shock waves old ghost this matter started because of my brother if you want to play i'll play i also like talking reason with others but i don't have any learning so rather than using words to talk reason 
I like to use my saber to talk reason. Long Chen slowly reached back. His divine ring appeared and his battle intent sword, shaking the heavenly dows. A violent, mental energy instantly locked onto the demonic beast divine venerate. The space behind Long Chen twisted. Everyone jumped in shock. They were all shaken by Long Chen's powerful mental energy. When this mental energy locked onto that divine venerate, others sensed it. Even if they couldn't sense it, just from the spatial fluctuations, they could see that Long Chen had firmly locked down that divine venerate. How can his mental energy be so terrifying? Shocked cries rang out. People didn't believe their eyes. A divine lord was actually able to lock down a divine venerate. That completely toppled their understanding of the world. The demonic beast divine venerate's expression also changed. He hadn't expected Long Chen's mental energy to be so powerful. Most infuriating of all was that he wasn't afraid of Long Chen, he was only afraid of Bing Po. He had no idea when Long Chen would summon Bing Po, and he also had no idea how powerful Bing Po was. Hence, he was extremely afraid of her. Everyone was deathly silent. They looked at Long Chen, who was holding his saber. A domineering air overflowed from him. Then they looked at Lai Chenggang, who had taken out his scroll. He was also overflowing with battle intent. Seeing this scene, countless heavenly geniuses were shaken. Even in the Divine Lord realm, they dared to challenge Divine Venerates. That was three realms higher. It could be said that Long Chen and Lai Chenggang were doing something that these experts had only ever dared to dream about. Jiang Li stood behind Long Chen. Upon looking at this peerless domineering figure, Jiang Li's body quivered with emotion. He clenched his fists. His boss was still the same undefeatable boss. Dean Long Chen, I don't get many chances to fight. My master is always looking after me telling me to reserve my temper and study more. However, now that I'm in the three thousand worlds I want to let loose, the human race has turned into lap dogs, bowing their heads to other races while abusing their own race. I talk reason with them, and they actually curse me. My master doesn't let me bully the weak. But now that an old fellow has appeared, this is my chance. Now my master can't blame me. Let's not talk about whether or not I can win. Just let me vent first. So, Dean Long Chen, please don't fight with me over him, said Lai Chenggang courteously. Seeing how confident Lai Chenggang was, Long Chen couldn't help being shocked. It seemed that this Lai Chenggang was truly powerful. Since brother Lai is so eager, I naturally will let you go first. The reason Long Chen was going to fight was because Lai Chenggang was only forced to fight because of helping Jiang Lei. It would be wrong for Long Chen to not stand up for him. However, if Lai Chenggang actually wanted a fight with a divine venerate, Long Chen naturally wouldn't fight over this chance with him. In order to not cause any mistrust, Long Chen intentionally distanced himself. He knew that the divine venerate was afraid of Bing Po. He was unaware that Bing Po didn't have the slightest ability to fight him right now. The demonic beast Divine Venerate relaxed slightly once Long Chen retreated. He clasped his hands behind his back and coldly said, Don't say that I'm bullying you. I'll let you attack first. Let me experience the dogshit abilities of the four immemorial sects. Lai Chenggang was previously courteous and refined when facing Long Chen. But when he turned back to this demonic beast, his aura suddenly changed. He extended his hand. One of the bamboo tiles on his scroll flew into his hand. When one character on it lit up, Lai Chenggang suddenly vanished. Just then, a bamboo tile appeared and smacked the demonic beast divine venerate in the face. What? Everyone present was completely shocked. Chapter 3754, The Powerful Lai Chenggang That Was Spatial Transportation, Not a Movement Art. 
Long Chen was also shocked. Lai Chengang's transportation art was even faster than Xia Chen's talismans. There was also no warning at all. The bamboo tile smacked the demonic beast divine venerate in the face, out of nowhere. An explosive sound rang out. As a result, his face split open and blood sprayed out. This one attack almost blew his head apart. Everyone's jaws dropped. That was a divine venerate, and furthermore, it was a demonic beast. Just how powerful was his physical body? For his head to be almost destroyed, if it was a half-step, divine venerate receiving this attack instead, wouldn't he simply be killed in an instant? Only then did people recall that the heavenly River Nine, Revolution J. Bembo, was a treasure comparable to a world domain divine item. This demonic beast had essentially been struck in the head by the attack of a world domain divine item. It was understandable that he would be injured. It was only after the bamboo tile smacked the demonic beast that Lai Chengang's figure slowly appeared. Just like that, he stamped on the air and shot after the demonic beast like a bolt of lightning. Using the bamboo tile as a sword, he stabbed it toward the demonic beast's head. The demonic beast was still dazed from being struck in the head, so he had yet to fully recover when Lai Chengang's second time came. As he didn't dare to take it head on, he rolled to the side. However, a ray of divine light actually shot out of the bamboo tile just like Sword Kai. It left a bloody hole in his shoulder. The Sword Kai then continued onward through his body and toward Seven Star City. Boom! A divine venerate of the human race took action, shattering the Sword Kai. The immense power caused huge spatial ripples. Lai Chengang's sword Kai was truly immensely powerful. Most shocking of all was that blood appeared on that human divine venerate's palm. He was actually injured. Although that person was not in his actual combat state, Lai Chengang's attack was aimed at the demonic beast. It had already struck him and injured him before continuing onward a great distance. According to reason, most of its power should have been used up. However, even then, this sword Kai still injured the human divine venerate. Although it was a superficial wound, it still shocked countless people. Law power. Long Chen's pupils shrank. He saw through the clues of that sword Kai. Lai Chengang's sword Kai had not weakened due to the distance. This was an attack that didn't keep up with common sense. Only an attack with the power of laws could do such a thing. Regretfully, Long Chen recognized no more than ten second-generation GLI mortal characters. As he didn't recognize any of the ones on the bamboo tile, he couldn't see through this attack. Using his bamboo tile as a sword, Lai Chengang repeatedly slashed it, unleashing waves of sword kai that tore through the ground, forcing the demonic beast to repeatedly retreat. The latter howled furiously. Boom! Suddenly, the demonic beast found an opportunity to recover. Scales covered his entire body, and he smashed apart Lai Chengang's sword Kai with a single punch. Previously, he had been acting superior, viewing himself as far above Lai Chengang. Thus, he hadn't entered his combat state. As a result, Lai Chengang's continuous attacks had almost killed him. Now he finally had a chance to summon his armor. Blood Kai erupted and a pair of wings spread on his back. He unleashed another punch. This punch shook the heavens, suppressing the ten thousand Daos. The aura of a divine venerate was finally fully unleashed. Boom! Lai Chengang swung his bamboo tile, and a huge explosion erupted. Lai Chengen was sent flying, and his bamboo tile bent. Die! After blasting him away, the demonic beast raised his head and roared. A giant illusory image manifested behind him. It appeared to be a serpent. Six-winged soaring serpent. Startled cries rang out as people recognized his identity. This demonic beast was actually a six-winged soaring serpent. When his manifestation appeared, 
his blood chi erupted like a volcano. An explosive power caused the world to change color. The next moment, astral winds shook the void, and ear-piercing sound waves buffeted the world. It was as if the very world was about to explode because of him. This is the power of a divine venerate. It's absolutely terrifying. At this moment, he was an undefiable god. In front of him, a divine lord disciple was as insignificant as an ant. Long Chen was also shaken. The power of a divine venerate was even greater than he had imagined. Just this explosive pressure was enough to flatten others. After unleashing all his power, the demonic beast's wings flapped, and he pounced on Lai Chengen. He was clearly enraged. He no longer wanted to test Lai Chengen's skills. Now he only wanted to kill. Long Chen was already circulating his aura secretly and clenching the Ming Hong saber. If Lai Chengeng really was in danger, he would definitely save him. After all, Lai Chengeng had saved Jiang Lei. Long Chen owed him a favor. Lai Chengeng snorted. Against this fully powered divine venerate, he suddenly tossed aside his bamboo tile and slammed his hands together. His scroll then scattered into individual tiles. Ninety-nine bamboo tiles lit up at the same time, and the characters on them shone brightly. They formed a shield in front of him. That demonic beast's fist smashed into the shield. Rooms exploded, and the world shook. Runic fragments flew through the air. He, he blocked it. People stared in shock at Lai Chengang with their jaws dropped. They were filled with disbelief. Lai Chengang had actually blocked a full power attack from a divine venerate. The shield fell apart. After that, the ninety-nine bamboo tiles fell to the ground surrounding Lai Chengang. They formed a bamboo fence. At this moment, the bamboo tiles became blank. All the characters carved on them vanished. However, the shattered characters in the air flew back, and those characters reappeared. You also receive one of my attacks, Lai Chenggang shouted. Forming hand seals, the ninety-nine bamboo tiles quivered. They formed a giant arrow that shot toward the demonic beast. When the characters on the bamboo tiles began to burn, a shocking aura filled the air. Heaven and earth lost all sound. Upon seeing this attack, that demonic beast's expression completely changed. He then roared and raised his arms in front of him. His wings also folded around his body tightly. Boom! Divine light exploded along with his wings. He then coughed up blood and flew back. A charred scent hung in the air. After that, the flying bamboo tiles once more gathered into the shape of a scroll. They rolled up and came to a rest on Lai Chengang's back. Lai Chengang's face was slightly pale now. He bowed to Long Chen. Dean Long Chen, let us meet again. You want to leave now? Dai. Just then, the demonic beast, divine venerate, came flying back furiously. A mouth that could devour the very heavens snapped down upon Lai Chengang. Chapter 3000 seven hundred fifty five he pushed me boom a giant serpent mouth crashed down on the earth leaving a giant hole in the ground however people clearly saw Lai Chengang smile coldly right before then a rune appeared in both of his hands when he pressed these two runes against each other his figure vanished as Lai Chengang had escaped the giant winged serpent only spat out mud his attack was still one step too slow. Everyone was shocked to find that the six wings on his back were completely destroyed. Blood still dripped out of them. Lai Chengang's attack had clearly caused him a significant wound. It had to be known that the six wing soaring serpents' wings were the most important parts of their body. Many of their divine abilities were unleashed through their wings, so such an important part had to be very powerful. However, even that powerful part was shattered by Lai Chengang. It could be seen just how terrifying his power was. 
no wonder the four immemorial sects are high and aloof existences that cannot be provoked the legends aren't for nothing although it was just a few short exchanges this brief fight between lai chengang and the divine venerate truly shook people this demonic beast divine venerate had almost been killed by lai chengang at the start due to his carelessness furthermore even after he managed to enter his full power state lai chengang could still block one of his attacks and injure him with one blow that was truly stunning although that one block and attack exhausted lai chengang already forcing him to flee it had to be said that lai chengang truly did possess some fighting power against a divine venerate people looked at long chen in the distance and suddenly had a thought if long chen had joined forces with lai chengang from the start perhaps they really could have killed this demonic beast lai chengang was incredibly powerful but his power still wasn't enough to go against a true divine venerate today people had witnessed his power as well as the almighty absolute power of a divine venerate at this moment the demonic beast returned to human form he was covered in blood it was a wretched sight his ominous gaze suddenly targeted long chen long chen also looked back at him he sneered what you want to cast your anger on me if you really want to die so badly i'll help you out in your current state there's a seventy per cent chance that i can kill you relying on my own power do you want to test it the demonic beast's six wings had been shattered he was unable to heal in the short term thus his current power was at most seventy per cent of his peak or perhaps even lower long chen had his own pride lai chengang had fought this expert in his peak state so long chen didn't want to take advantage of his opponent's weakness that demonic beast's heart quivered his rationality grappled with his fury right now if he were to fight long chen and lose it would be embarrassing if he fought and won he still wouldn't dare to push him too far because he was afraid of drawing out bing po again in the end he snorted and returned to the city long chen remained indifferent it was as if everything was within expectations and he brought jang lei into the city the ruckus caused by lai chengang slowly settled long chen and jang lei entered the city long chen wanted to get a decent weapon for jang lei but lightning attribute weapons were too rare it was very difficult to buy any suddenly long chen spouted a group of people in the crowd his eyes brightened and he walked toward them it was a group of seven experts their leader was a supreme heavenly genius with lightning runes revolving around him he was a rarely seen lightning cultivator with astonishing blood kai however he was a demonic beast this demonic beast had just entered the city he had an arrogant indifference on his face and looked down on the people around him long chen and jiang lei then walked over just happening to end up crashing into him scram that supreme expert directly pushed long chen aside bow in return long chen slapped him in the face who do you think you are to act arrogant in front of boss long san this group of people was actually quite blind they actually didn't notice that wherever long chen went others fled they thought that these people were fleeing due to them hence long chen's slap caused countless people to cry out in shock no one had expected long chen to dare to start a fight within the city this wasn't just a simple fight but a slap in the face of the city lord however the next scene caused their eyes to bulge out of their heads long chen had just slapped him when jang lei's sword swung out directly cutting off his head as a result that person's headless corpse fell and his spiritual fluctuations vanished he was killed just like that they overtly killed a supreme heavenly genius right within the city seeing this countless people fled for their lives they knew that something terrifying was about to occur long chen you have gone too far 
the demonic beast divine venerate once more appeared erupting with killing intent flames almost burst out of his eyes although he was no friend or foe of long chen's for long chen to kill someone from the demonic beast race was clearly a challenge to his bottom line long chen why did you kill someone on the streets the other human divine venerates were also ashen if he had to kill people why couldn't he leave the city first to kill people here was he not slapping them in the face he pushed me long chen pointed at the corpse innocently yun the demonic beast was purple with rage this is your reason for killing him long chen sneered does there need to be a reason for killing someone how many times have you attacked the human race how many times have you plundered us how many of our lives have you wreaked do you have a reason i've given you my reason if you don't like it we can fight right here and now in order to heal your wings your blood kai energy is at its weakest you can't even unleash fifty percent of your combat power now i can kill you without the slightest effort do you want to try it the demonic beast divine venerate was shocked as well as enraged just as long chen said he was currently focusing all of his blood kai on repairing his wings he was in a very awkward state now if he attacked long chen now he really wouldn't have the slightest confidence that was ignoring the still hidden bing po your human race wishes to declare war on my demonic beast race the demonic beast divine venerate turned to the human divine venerates those human experts cursed inside since he didn't dare to face long chen he just had to use them as the villains this matter is your personal grievance it has nothing to do with my seven star city one of the human divine venerates shook his head ever since lai chengeng had said that long chen was the dean of the high firmament academy this divine venerate was restrained by his fear of him he wouldn't provoke long chen for nothing you the demonic beast's expression sank he was in a weak state right now and it wasn't as if he could really fight hearing this he almost coughed up blood from rage long chen glanced at jang lei jang lei immediately understood and walked over to the corpse he bowed toward it you were an opponent worthy of respect in order to express my respect for you i won't let your headless corpse rot on the street i'll find a good place for you to rest then in front of everyone jang lei magnanimously gathered the corpse along with the sword on his back that was flickering with lightning upon seeing that countless people had expressions of realization appear on their faces it seemed that long chen had set his gaze on this expert's weapon so he had directly killed him you just wait the demonic beast divine venerates expression twisted with fury but he was helpless flames almost burst out of his eyes this was a huge insult to him and the entire demonic beast race let's go long chen ignored him together with jang lei they walked onto the transportation formation seeing that he was leaving countless human experts sighed with relief this demon of pestilence was finally leaving they didn't even ask him for the transportation fee they only asked him where he wanted to go and directly sent him there just after long chen and jiang lei left divine light covered the sky the entire seven star city was locked down shocking everyone present chapter three thousand seven hundred fifty six miserable jiang lei of flame prison instantly covered this city which divine being has descended upon my seven star city shouted one of the human race's divine venerates seven star city was completely locked down people were ashen they had never seen such a terrifying thing before the scale of this lock was something that terrified even divine venerates the sacred pill hall has a warrant for long chen's capture everyone stay still or you will be killed an imposing voice rang out from above at this moment 
countless experts wielding chains descended from the sky. It seemed that they were even reinforcing the formation. There were several divine venerates amongst them. Upon hearing Long Chen's name, countless people gasped. Just what kind of background did Long Chen have to cause the Grand Sacred Pill Hall to send so many people after him? My apologies, I have some bad news for you. Just a few seconds ago, Long Chen already left Seven Star City, said one of the nervous divine venerates within the city. What? Pnavalun. With his black dagger, Long Chen cut through the void. Long Chen and Jiang Lei then came flying out of the hole like meteorites crashing into a mountain. As they pierced right through it, Jiang Lei coughed up blood. Long Chen pulled him up. After that, Jiang Lei wiped the blood off of his mouth and asked, Boss, the transportation was going well. Why did you stop it? The two of them were in the midst of the spatial transportation when Long Chen suddenly pierced through it. That was extremely dangerous. If they were drawn into the chaotic flow of space, who knew where they would end up? There's a fly chasing me. If we continued according to that spatial transportation, we'd probably be surrounded before leaving that city, said Long Chen. Before the sacred pill hall's experts were approaching, Bing Po had sent Long Chen a warning that they were creeping over and setting up a huge trap for him. Hence, Long Chen used the transportation formation to escape before their net was complete. Interrupting the transportation formation was necessary to prevent the sacred pill hall's experts from waiting for him in his new location and also to prevent them from doing something to the transportation formation. If the sacred pill hall were to forcibly change Long Chen's travel path midway, he and Jiang Lei would be doomed. Now, Long Chen took out the map and looked around. He found that this place was at least ten days' travel from Seven Star City. They would be safe for now. Only then did Long Chen have a chance to ask Jiang Lei about his current predicament. Jiang Lei then told him that after ascending, his situation was the most miserable of all. He ended up directly landing on a battlefield between the human race and the demonic beast race. The human race was almost wiped out at the time. With no other way, Jiang Lei forcibly killed his way out of the demonic beast toward with a single sword, fleeing on a bloody path. By the time he escaped, he only had half his body remaining. His entire body was covered in blood. The only fortunate thing was that he happened upon a human city. After arriving there, he thought that he was saved and passed out. However, once he woke up, he found himself locked in chains. He was turned into a servant and sold to the demonic beast race. That city only managed to exist because the humans there had defected to the demonic beast race. In order to ingratiate themselves with them, they actually sent Jiang Lei to the demonic beast's side directly. After that, Jiang Lei was turned into a slave, his body tortured with all kinds of instruments. He suffered pain every single day. If a mysterious voice had not told him that he and everyone else were still alive, he have long since killed himself. During this time, Jiang Lei ran away three times. The first two times, he was found and almost beaten to death. The third time, he finally succeeded. After that, he never trusted anyone. He began his journey as a rogue cultivator, an independent wolf that specialized in hunting down demonic beasts and plundering traitors. It could be said that Jiang Lei's predicament was the worst out of everyone. He had suffered endless pain and torture, but that still hadn't beaten him. In order to survive, he pushed himself to the limit every time. Although he was just an ordinary primal, he managed to hunt down and kill a supreme heavenly genius of the demonic beast race. Although he didn't kill him directly, it was enough to prove his strength. It was precisely because he had been enslaved by the demonic beast race that Jiang Lei's hatred for the demonic beast race could be said to be higher than the heavens, deeper than the ocean. Before entering the three thousand worlds, 
he had repeatedly warned himself that he had to endure until he gathered with every one. However, within Seven Star City, as soon as he faced the taunts and curses of the demonic beast race, he thought of his days enslaved to the demonic beast race. In his fury, he didn't care about the consequences and directly killed them. In the end, it was a good thing that he had. Otherwise, Long Chen wouldn't have noticed him. At that time, Long Chen had been planning on taking a transportation formation. Good brother, you've suffered. Upon hearing all that Jiang Lei had been through, Long Chen could only pat his shoulder sympathetically. Boss, what are you saying? A sword must be sharpened. Without experiencing pain, how could I have advanced so quickly? Without that bit of power, how could I call myself a dragon blood warrior? Jiang Lei laughed it off. He didn't complain about what he had experienced. Without that life and death tempering, he wouldn't have his current accomplishments. When every dragon blood warrior is outstanding, Long Chen laughed. He thanked the heavens for not being stingy with him. At least he had so many good brothers. Here, eat this fruit and calmly absorb it. I'll protect you. Long Chen handed over the lightning rune heavenly Dao fruit. Jiang Lei consumed it without hesitation. He then sat down and began to absorb its power. Previously, Jiang Lei was forced to be cautious with everything. Now that Long Chen was here, he didn't even need to think about anything. He had the utmost confidence that even if the heavens collapsed, his boss would hold them up. Lightning began to flicker around Jiang Lei's body, and a supreme aura slowly manifested. Suddenly, Lei Linger appeared and pressed her hands on Jiang Lei's back. Her own thunder force slowly entered his body. That way, not only could Jiang Lei absorb the heavenly Tao fruit better, but he could also merge with more thunder force. Two hours later, with Lei Linger's help, Jiang Lei had become a supreme expert with an aura of annihilation around him. That was the aura of heavenly tribulation. In the future, when he underwent tribulation, just like Lei Linger, he could absorb the tribulation lightning to strengthen himself. Not only would that strengthen his physical body, but it would also allow him to control more thunder force. When Jiang Lei sensed the lightning runes flowing within his body, Looking at the lightning spurting out of it, he couldn't help raising his head and roaring. It was like he was fully unleashing all the hatred and sullenness he had been holding back. As his sword came out of its sheath, lightning thundered. Lightning soared Kai's sword into the heavens, tearing a mountain peak apart. Seeing this, Jiang Lei had an expression of wild joy. He felt like he was dreaming. Let's go to a land of treasures. Chapter 3757, Heavenly River Blood Sea Boss. Where are we going? Up in the sky, Long Chen and Jiang Lei were surrounded by lightning that formed the figure of a lightning falcon. They sped through the air rapidly. As Jiang Lei was a lightning attribute cultivator, Long Chen had transmitted the secret arts of the lightning falcon race to him. Moreover, because Jiang Lei's compatibility with the lightning element was extremely high and he was smart, under Long Chen's guidance, he quickly mastered the secret arts. I don't have any direction right now. I'm just waiting for some news, but it still hasn't appeared yet, said Long Chen as he flew through the air. He was waiting for the dragon expert to give him direction but it had been over ten days in the three thousand worlds, and it hadn't communicated with him. Most importantly, his time was very precious. He couldn't waste it. If he couldn't communicate with it, he would have to think of a way to strengthen himself in preparation for his tribulation. Right now, his cultivation base was at the peak of the twelfth heaven stage. He was preparing to break through to the immortal king realm. However, his violet tower star was still lacking the final step to reach completion. He would only dare to make his breakthrough once the violet tower star was fully condensed. 
he didn't have the slightest assurance for his immortal king tribulation as his cultivation base grew his heavenly tribulations grew even more terrifying and monstrous he had to be overwhelmingly prepared for it right now his violet tower star was one step from completion but he was holding back a portion of energy to prevent it from doing so that was because he had a premonition that as soon as it was complete his cultivation base would automatically break through that would instantly start his tribulation hence right now he was waiting he wanted to gain the dragon king essence blood first that way he would have another life-saving trump card and this monstrous tribulation of his should be somewhat doable however even now the dragon expert had not told him anything as a result long chen was starting to get impatient i haven't told you anything because i'm calculating some things just at this moment the dragon expert's voice rang out in long chen's mind long chen was delighted senior where is your dragon scale i'll get it right now how could it be so easy without entering the immortal king realm it's impossible for you to reach that place let alone subdue the will of my essence blood the current you should immediately go to the heavenly river blood sea the heavenly dows are on the verge of bursting there in around one month it will unleash primal chaos kai and it will become the best place for powerful cultivators to undergo their tribulations during this opening of the three thousand worlds but you should be prepared anyone with a powerful physical body will immediately rush there upon hearing word of it countless people might die there even before the tribulations start said the dragon expert the heavenly river blood sea isn't that a forbidden area under the control of the demonic beast race long chan was startled also that place was extremely far yes the demonic beast race has occupied it for themselves all the demonic beast experts within the three thousand worlds will go there and prevent outsiders from entering however the core area of the heavenly river blood sea will not allow experts above immortal kings from entering as long as you can break through their blockade they will not be able to do anything to you my dragon scale is not so easy to obtain without immense power even if i gave you my dragon scale you would be unable to subdue it so entering the heavenly river blood sea for your tribulation is your only option if you can survive i'll tell you where my dragon scale is after saying that the dragon expert's voice faded away the heavenly river blood sea even if it's a den of dragons i'll risk it long chen clenched his fists his blood heated up he knew that the dragon expert was giving him a trial he then stopped and took out the map looking at the location of the heavenly river blood sea he saw that it was marked as a blood-colored sun and countless rivers in the surroundings flowed into it it was like a drop of blood that had fallen from high above leaving streaks from its splashing it was quite malevolent looking when long chen checked the distance he gasped the three thousand worlds were truly enormous if he wanted to get to the heavenly river blood sea he would need to cross the majority of the map the biggest headache was that there was a large empty area to cross however that area was forbidden to the human race and there were no human settlements there only countless dangerous areas there was no way to cross that place seeing the large forbidden area long chan was enraged those areas were occupied by other races and thus called forbidden areas as it was forbidden for the human race to set foot there but on the other hand the human race's territory could be freely crossed by those other races in fact the human race would smile at them as their territories were crossed thinking of this long chen was enraged boss that's where you want to go seeing that long chen had taken out the map and was constantly estimating the distance to one spot jang lei spoke up yes but crossing this area is impossible even if we slaughter our way through 
There's too much land to cross and too many blockades. We'll just be wasting our time. We'll have to go around, and I'm looking for a path. But those large cities have the eyes of the sacred pill hall there. So we might run into them if we go there. It's irritating, said Long Chen darkly. Due to Bing Po, Long Chen was definitely being chased by the sacred pill hall. They would do anything to reclaim her before she recovered. They had to be panicked and in a rush to find her as soon as possible. Hence, Long Chen didn't dare to take that risk. Oh, this region. Long Chen suddenly saw a green area, and his eyes lit up. That was the spirit race's holy land. It was a long and narrow strip of land according to the maps. If they passed through that region, it would save them quite a bit of time. Even if they didn't use transportation formations and just flew at full speed with the usage of the ultra-transportation formation disks that Xia Chen had prepared for him, it should be possible for them to reach the Heavenly River Blood Sea within one month. Let's go. After deciding, Long Chen didn't hesitate. He and Jiang Lei directly transformed into a lightning falcon and flew away. They were like shooting stars. Three days later, the surrounding mountains and plains vanished, replaced with an unending forest. The terrain was even, auspicious and peaceful, sunlight filtered through the green leaves. Although the forest was dim, it didn't give off an oppressive feeling. Instead, it felt very warm. As soon as they arrived, the forest reacted to their arrival. The trees then began to move according to a strange rhythm. Suddenly, arrows shot out from the trees. Their sharp auras directly pierced the void. Buzz! Jiang Lei cried out. Don't counterattack. Just block. Long Chen was also startled. He didn't know what was going on. He only saw that they were wooden arrows. Tree demons. Long Chen extended his hand, summoning a lightning shield. Those wooden arrows were blasted apart upon contact. He shouted, I am Long Chen. I am friends with the spirit race and have no malice. I simply want to borrow your land to pass through. Friends of the spirit race, please help me out. His voice transmitted far and wide. Echoes rang out through the trees. Liar! You're in the same group as those bad people. We don't welcome you. Live! Suddenly, a tender voice rang out from the trees. Long Chen then saw two little girls looking to only be seven or eight years old. They walked out of the trees, glaring at Long Chen with hostility. Chapter 3000 758. Golden Unicorn, the two pretty girls, had their hair in two pigtails. They wielded wooden bows, and their eyes eyed Long Chen up and down. Despite looking very young, their arrows were pointed right at Long Chen. That actually gave Long Chen a slight sense of pressure. These two were actually not weaker than ordinary divine lords. They glared at Long Chen with hostility. Long Chen didn't know whether to laugh or cry. I really don't have any malice. Furthermore, I am friends with the spirit race. What do you mean when you said that I'm with the bad people? Have humans invaded the spirit race? I'm not telling you. Your human race is the worst. You're all liars. We won't fall for it. Leave now, or we won't be courteous. That girl glared at him frostily. Despite looking very cute, her tone was quite fearful. It was like she was going to start biting. As they spoke, Long Chen and Jiang Lei saw countless large trees come to life in the depths of the forest. Arrows peeled off of their bodies and floated in the air, pointed at them. Hey, we can talk this out. I have the spirit race's mark on me. Can you not see it? Long Chen hastily raised his hands. The spirit race's mark? Show me. One of them softened slightly and was about to walk forward when the other one dragged her back. Don't fall for it. The human race is very crafty. He's trying to trick us into going over. 
but our cultivation base isn't high enough to see it from this distance. How can we verify it? asked the other. A. We don't care if you have the spirit races, Mark. We aren't accepting visitors at the moment. I'll trouble you to come back another time, shouted the other girl. Another time? What time? asked Long Chen. I suppose you can come back in a month. A month? How could he do that? By that time, everything would be too late. But when it came to the spirit races people, Long Chen didn't feel right using force. However, he was also unable to explain himself. Even with all his power, he felt powerless here. Suddenly, intense fluctuations came from deep within the forest. A bugle horn rang out urgently, and those two girls immediately changed expressions. Hurry up and leave, or we won't be courteous, shouted one of them. Is the spirit race in trouble? If so, I can help, said Long Chen. Live. That would be the most helpful thing you could do, raged the other girl. She was clearly panicking and wanting to go reinforce the other as seeing that there was no way to explain himself to these two, Long Chen took a deep breath. Sorry, I'll have to offend you. The two girls instantly had a bad feeling and retreated. Their arrows shot toward Long Chen. At the same time, a torrent of arrows poured out of the forest like a flood at Long Chen. Long Chen's astral energy then surged out of him, and he crashed through the current of arrows. Those arrows exploded in front of him, not even slowing him down. After that, Long Chen reached toward the two of them, who screamed in fright and fled. But they were shocked to find that the surrounding space had suddenly frozen. Long Chen grabbed them. You really are a baddie. Your human race is filled with bad people. The two girls struggled with all their power. They bit him, but his physical body was so powerful that they weren't even able to harm him. You'll know in a bit. Long Chen ignored their struggle and rushed through the forest with lightning wings on his back. Countless tree demons appeared, but it seemed that they were afraid of hurting the two girls and didn't dare to go too far. You baddie, you'll be punished by the heavens. You, eh? You. You have the mark of the butterfly spirit race on you and the aura of the rainbow crane race. Just as they were struggling with all their might, one of them came to a sudden stop. Disbelief filled her large eyes. The other one also stopped, looking stunned. She finally sensed his aura. So you're not a baddie? asked one of them. Of course not. I told you I'm a friend of the spirit race, but you refused to believe me, said Long Chen. Then, big brother, does that mean you're going to help us beat the baddies? asked the other. Am I not rushing to the battlefield right now? Oh, the two of them cried out excitedly when they heard his response. Pulled onto me tightly. Have you people get out of the way? I'm going to accelerate shouted Long Chen. All right. The two girls were incredibly excited. Suddenly, they transformed into golden vines that wrapped around Long Chen's head. Long Chen was surprised. The two of them were actually vines. After transforming into vines, they held onto Long Chen's head and stuck out two ends that began to flash. Countless tree demons received their communications, and made way for Long Chen. A path then appeared in the forest. Suddenly, a strange sound came from beside him. Long Chen was startled, and then saw Jiang Lei not daring to look at him. He instantly realized that the current him must look bizarre with golden vines wrapped around his head. That was already out of place, but they even stuck out two tentacles like the eyes of a snail. One of you go to him. When the battle starts, tell him how to fight, said Long Chen. Boss, I have plenty of combat experience. Jiang Lei cried out indignantly. However, Long Chen didn't even give him a chance to argue. He plucked one of the vines off of his head, and Jiang Lei could only receive it bitterly. 
He cursed himself for laughing at his boss. Now, his retribution had come. As a result, two golden unicorns flew through the path of the forest. They quickly saw a chaotic battlefield ahead. Devil Kai was erupting there, and an army of devil experts was slaughtering the group of life forms. After those life forms were killed, their corpses were snatched up. Some of the devils would directly fight over the bodies and tear them apart. It was extremely bloody. Hundreds of thousands of devil experts were assaulting the retreating life forms. Countless tree demons used their own bodies to block the devil experts, protecting the life forms as they escaped. However, those tree demons were directly blasted apart. Big Brother, help us kill those baddies, shouted one of the girls when she saw her people being slaughtered. Have your people all retreat. Long Chen's killing intent instantly soared when he saw the devil experts. He then reached for the Minghong saber on his back. I'll be the main attacker. Jiang Lei cut them off at the rear. Don't leave a single one alive. Long Chen pushed the girl off of him, and his divine ring appeared. Torrential killing intent unfurled. The Minghong saber then came out of its sheath, striking one of the supreme experts of the devil race like a bolt of lightning. Split the heavens one. Chapter 3759 The Increasingly Powerful Minghong Saber Devil Slash Just as Long Chen's saber fell, that supreme devil expert also shouted. He reacted quickly and also unleashed his attack. Clearly, he was also an expert. And two divine weapons clashed. As a result, the ground beneath the devil expert collapsed, and a violet kai wave tore through the army of devil experts, blasting them back. Split the heavens one. Lal Chan once more shouted and slashed the Minghong saber. His attacks were unleashed in no more than the blink of an eye, not giving his enemy a chance to breathe. That devil expert was startled. He hadn't expected to draw out an expert of the human race. He once more raised his saber. This time, the Mingong saber severed his saber and landed on his head. Thus, his body exploded. Long Chen then raised his left hand and a lightning arrow shot out, piercing a translucent figure. Ah! Uh, that devil expert let out an unwilling cry. That translucent figure was his Yuan spirit. He was actually extremely powerful, to the point where Long Chen's saber attack didn't end up shattering his Yuan spirit. Regretfully, he was not strong enough to escape death. Ming Hong, you really are my good helper. Long Chen looked at the Ming Hong saber with delight. It was growing stronger and stronger. It was now even able to sever a world domain divine item. Long Chen's first attack had left a rice-sized nick in his weapon. The second attack was accurately targeting that nick, destroying it. After it was destroyed, its runes were absorbed by the Minghong saber. The Minghong saber seemed to be excited by Long Chen's praise, and its runes lit up, killing intent sword out of it. Kill! Long Chen responded with a thunderous roar. He then shot toward another supreme expert of the devil race. Oh! That devil expert blocked with a shield, only for the shield to be pierced through by the Minghong saber. Half his body was destroyed. After that, stars flowed on top of the Minghong saber. As Violet Kai wrapped around it, a saber cry shook the nine heavens. It unleashed an aura that made gods and devils flee from it. This was a divine weapon capable of advancing. Through devouring endless blood soul energy, through shattering countless divine weapons, it was growing stronger and stronger. Ordinary world domain divine items had difficulty blocking its attacks. Retreat. The devil army saw that the situation had taken a drastic turn for the worse, so another supreme expert immediately gave orders. They had over 300,000 experts and a total of seven supreme experts. However, Long Chen killed two and Jiang Lei also killed one. 
So they were now terrified and immediately fell back. You want to run? Leave your lives behind first. Jiang Lei stayed at their rear to cut them off. Seeing them rushing toward him, he put away his lightning sword. A lightning spear appeared in his right hand. World extermination lightning radiance. Lightning concentrated in his hand. The lightning spear then explosively grew, instantly devouring the devil army. Boom! Lightning ravaged the battlefield, and the devil race's experts were blasted apart by this lightning. Other than the four supreme experts, the rest were all slain. Chiang Lei coughed up blood. Even he was injured by the lightning explosion. Many of his bones were exposed to the air, and he tumbled into the distance. Pill! The four supreme experts were also left black and bloody. They received significant injuries, but not fatal ones. Seeing Jiang Lei wounded, they charged at him. But all of a sudden, a golden vine shot out of the ground and wrapped around Jiang Lei. His body instantly vanished into the forest. The four of their attacks landed on nothing. But rather than pausing at this, they continued to flee. The next moment, lightning flashed and the Mingong saber swung through their bodies like cutting apart melons. They were blown apart along with their weapons. In front of the lightning falcon race's secret arts, fleeing was the most foolish choice. They were already injured, and their bodies were somewhat numb. As a result, their spiritual perception was only around half of its peak. By fleeing with their backs facing Long Chen, they had decided their fates. Long Chen sheathed the Minghong saber. Its runes were still flashing. It was like it was still reveling in the aftertaste of this excitement. After that, Long Chen went deeper into the forest. He saw the two girls in vine form helping Jiang Lei, Eel. Boss, this world extermination lightning radiance really is badass. Aya. Jiang Lei laughed, only to be kicked by Long Chen, causing him to shout in pain. What do you think you're doing? He's already injured. His wounds have opened again, scolded one of the girls angrily. If I don't hurt him, he won't learn his lesson. What did I tell you? The world extermination lightning radiance isn't suitable for you to use right now. Did you treat my words as wind blowing through your ears? demanded Long Chen. Long Chen had been hesitant to teach Jiang Lei the world extermination lightning radiance from the start, afraid of him using it improperly. However, thinking of how Jiang Lei had survived on his own and had plenty of experience, Long Chen ended up deciding that Jiang Lei would know his own limits. Long Chen had clearly warned him to only use this technique after becoming an immortal king. That was because Jiang Lei's body now had Lei Linger's power. That was heavenly tribulation power. Jiang Lei had to at least go through a heavenly tribulation with this power in him before he could control a trace of it. However, he ended up using it right now and even had the guts to call it badass. If Long Chen didn't put him in his place, he wouldn't learn his lesson. Wasn't I just testing the effect? I also held back 30%, quibbled Jiang Lei. If you hadn't held back 30%, you wouldn't even have a corpse left, said Long Chen angrily. He then tossed him a medicinal pill. After consuming the medicinal pill, Jiang Lei's condition improved greatly. After all, he was only harmed by his own power. His recovery was fast. At this time, the spirit race's people came out of the forest. They all thanked Long Chen. Long Chen looked at them and found that they weren't bodies of flesh and blood. They were spirit vegetation. Long Chen then understood that the devil experts had attacked them to take their life essence. The devil experts wanted to solidify their realms again before breaking through to the immortal king realm. That was the perfect preparation for their tribulation. Little girls, bring me somewhere else. When I killed them, I checked their memories. It won't end with just this one wave. Let's go kill their next one, said Long Chen. 
big brother you really are great i'll bring you over right now the two of them once more transformed into golden vines but this time long chen took the initiative to tell them not to wrap around his head that was too ugly as a result those two little burls ended up wrapped around long chen's wrists long chen and jang lei then used their lightning movement art to rush deep into the forest chapter three thousand seven hundred sixty bing po leaves kill long chen roared the ming hong saber danced through the air with killing intent and blew apart countless devil experts world extermination flame lotus when the white lotus exploded an enormous space was covered by its blast which turned the devil racy's army into ice sculptures those sculptures then combusted turning them into ashes long chen was also covered in ice and became an ice sculpture after that his body quivered and the ice fell off of him he slowly sheathed the minghong saber kuo linger you are getting really strong kuo linger's attack was practically apocalyptic if she had not shown him special care with this attack he would have been seriously injured Uo Linger's world extermination flame lotus now had the power of the ice soul. It was something that the current Long Chen was unable to resist. Uo Linger truly was growing increasingly terrifying. He he, it's thanks to Big Sister Bing Po's help. She has given me her coarse seed and taught me how to nourish my ice soul energy. She also showed me many ways to control flames, said Uo Linger excitedly long chen was startled he then looked at bing po in the primal chaos space her aura was extremely weak her body so transparent that it looked like she might vanish at any moment what are you up to demanded long chen in shock and anger bing po calmly said i did what i promised but there's no need to do it right now long chen was vexed seeing her looking at him oddly he mumbled, I am still counting on you to scare off those old fellows. You don't detest me? asked Bing Po. I never detested you, said Long Chen, feeling startled. But you said it before. You don't like me. You like the heavenly rainbow fairy, said Bing Po. Not liking you isn't the same as detesting you. Hearing this, Bing Po lowered her hand and didn't respond. Long Chen was speechless this again why was her head so slow did she really need to take his words of anger seriously i am a flame of heaven and earth and just a part of the cycle of the heavenly doubts thus i don't love this world and have no gratitude toward this world but after being with you i feel like i've comprehended what emotions are what responsibility is perhaps i should carry out my responsibility said bing po what does that mean asked long chen i went from a tiny little flame seed to a heaven incinerating flame possessing the power to destroy heaven and earth i have the power to control the lives and deaths of trillions of life forms perhaps this is the authority that heaven and earth bestowed upon me but even with this authority i never carried out my duty thus i had my bitter torment i watched as a spectator treating myself as beyond the world i thought that the tribulation of heaven and earth had nothing to do with me i thought that the rise and fall of the nine heavens was not something i had to play a part in but your arrival should be the enlightenment that heaven and earth gave me the human race is already so depraved you are angry you are furious you hate it but you still haven't given up you are so small yet still have hope in your heart your confidence remains a solid boulder and you want to create your ideal world perhaps i should find my hope as well the hope of the world i will carry out my duty bing po looked at the golden lotus revolving high in the air of the primal chaos space she murmured to herself what are you trying to say asked long chen he had a bad feeling I have to leave. I have to go where I should go, and I have to do what I should do. Leave? Are you crazy? 
You are so weak right now. If you encounter someone from the sacred pill hall, they'll capture or kill you, shouted Long Chen, not daring to believe his ears. Thank you for your care. But time is pressing. I must leave. Bing Po suddenly flew out of the primal chaos space and appeared in front of Long Chen. However, her body was completely see-through. She was clearly incredibly weak. Big sister, don't leave. Huo Linger cried out, weeping. Bing Po rubbed Huo Linger's cheek. I have passed down the ice soul sea to you. In the future, you are me and I am you. We will never be apart. Bing Po then turned to Long Chen. Her icy face actually smiled. That smile was like a flower blooming, and the very world grew warmer because of it. Because of one smile, the remnant aura of the battlefield was driven away. Long Chen, thank you. You taught me the human race's emotions. Perhaps amongst all heavenly flames I am the most foolish. Hopefully, one day I won't be so detestable. Maybe I can be like the heavenly rainbow fairy and see more color. After saying that, her body slowly vanished. Only her smile hung in the air for a long time before dissipating. Big sister, Huo Linger became a sobbing mess. Bing Po left. She left in her weakest state. So Long Chen was full of worry for her. However, he also knew just how stubborn she was. Once she had decided on something, no one could change her mind. Furthermore, she had to have her own reasons for leaving in such a rush. In truth, you're not detestable at all. Long Chen bitterly smiled. Bing Po had already left. He knew that she couldn't hear him. Long Chen consoled the sobbing Huo Linger. Don't cry. Big sister Bing Po is only leaving temporarily. We'll meet again. I'll definitely work hard on my cultivation. I'll find her. I'll share her burden, said Huo Linger while crying. Long Chen nodded. He had Huo Linger return to the primal chaos space and rest. Bing Po had left suddenly, catching him off guard. Now that she was gone, he felt an empty feeling inside. He also felt an unprecedented sense of crisis. He then rushed over to two other battlefields. The enemies were all members of the devil race and all divine lords. Furthermore, they were all non-natives. Jiang Lei had mostly recovered and joined forces with Long Chen to slaughter those disciples. At this moment, Long Chen had gathered over thirty supreme heavenly Dao fruit. Boss, you destroyed so many divine weapons. It's such a pity. Looking at the ruined weapons, several of them being world domain divine items, Jiang Lei picked up the fragments and sighed. Jiang Lei was simply too used to poverty. After entering the three thousand worlds, his main weapon was nothing more than an ordinary king item that wasn't even high grade. So, seeing these ruined worlds domain divine items, he was aggrieved. In truth, Long Chan was also somewhat aggrieved, but there was no way around it. This Ming Hong saber of unknown origins was a weapon for slaughter. As long as it constantly killed life forms and their weapons, it could absorb their power. That allowed it to rapidly grow stronger. When Long Chen was preparing to rush to the other battlefield, he was told that the devil experts on those battlefields were retreating. What's going on? Did they learn that we're here? Asked Jian Lei. No, it is because their devil eye world is about to open. They have no choice but to leave. A soft voice rang out at this moment. 